Hello, hello, and here we go. Time for another live stream. We got bananas in chat from Morgan Corn, the physics, Rangelo, T Monkey D, the official Blaze, Power Rhyme, <laughs> Jan Seegers, and the S the S Switzer Wooed. <laughs> I can't read your name. Thank you, everyone, for the bananas. Really do appreciate it. We've got some new music today. A new Crinkles record dropped in October of last year that I wasn't aware of. So we shall be listening to it twice, back to back. Familiarising ourselves with the wonderful sounds of Crinkles. And today's pre-stream music, two songs, because I basically had a lot to do and get ready. So I thought, let's put on two songs back to back. We had LL Cool J, Mama Said Knock You Out, and Main Saws live at the barbecue. As someone noticed... In chat, that song is what you can hear at the beginning of Illmatic, if you know that record. And, yeah, bit of a 90s hip-hop mood. So, two tracks in the pre-stream, and now we can jump right into it and play some Minecraft, which is what you all came here for. Bam! Hi, how's it going? <laughs> I'm going to fish you, apparently. Oh, I've been using this fishing farm. Now, you'll see this in tomorrow's episode, or me trying to build something different. For those of you that are here at the end of the last stream... We started building this thing and it didn't work. It didn't work. Turns out that Panda's new one has some issues with timing that affects playing on a server, so it's not always great depending on your connection. And I don't think it's particularly fixable either, it's just like a Minecraft quirk. So, it means... Man, that thing's annoying. Stop. There we go. So it means um, that I've had to build the old one. And here it is, the old design with you know less stuff because... We didn't need the whole thing because of the mending on the fishing rod and if you know what I'm on about, yay. If you don't, I've probably confused you. So Elite Force says, what's the plan for today? The plan is to record a time lapse of us filling in these spaces around the outside and uh, slowly removing this area. Uh, the reason we built this up here, by the way, is to use the Guardian Farm as well. So if you are attentive and have noticed that there's more chests down the bottom there, then we will go and check on those chests because we are getting all of the items at the moment, all of them. And we're going to get more because I'm going to do more AFK farming and that means we get more drops. Oh, I thought it would be more than that. Ah, they also go into the top chest as well because there's, yeah, there's two lots of hoppers so these ones will point in there. Oh, that's a little bit of a flaw. Look, I'm glad we spotted that. That could have gone in the lava. That should point into that one so that it goes down. Excellent. Well done. Thanks, peeps, for uh, being here and reminding me to look at that <laughs> so we could fix it. Fozzy says, woo, time lapses. Yeah, I've got a second account on here. I've got another computer. I'm doing it with the other computer. Um, I've sort of dragged the monitor. Oh, wow, I'm inside my own head on the other screen. You can't see the other screen. I can't put it on OBS. Um, this is going to go really, really bad if I accidentally nudge the like mouse because it's very sensitive. So I'm going to have to be... I'm going to be very careful with that, that's for sure. Yeah, the slightest nudge and it goes all over the place. So somewhere around here, you can't see it, there's a floaty camera. And uh, Kraken says, God, mind the coal down there. Are you getting a little OCD over the coal? I'm going to leave it there. It's fine. And I'm going to cough. Oh dear. Uh, this is the first time I've really... I've recorded a couple of things today. I've had a bit of a uh, slower day. First time I'm doing some proper like talking recording and my voice feels a bit weird. A lot of you saying unplug the mouse. I was thinking of doing that, but I have to sort of get up and climb over and get to the other computer. I, I'll try and do that. Oh, I've got noise in me. I'm going to have uh, a little little sip. More like a gulp. Some good old water. I do like it. Uh, Monty is Monty Nun is asking what drink I've got. I've got a, a Sam tea. And it is definitely not ready. It's very hot. So Rocky Avalon says, You need to make a music review channel called Amusix. Maybe you could even do what Captain Sparkles is planning on doing by making a channel where people can donate their own music to use royalty free. Just some thoughts. Uh, I'm not going to make another channel. I like the idea. I appreciate the suggestion. If there's ever a time that I'll do like music stuff on YouTube, maybe that'll be a name for me. But... Um, not right now. That's not not what's on my mind at the moment. At the moment, I'm I'm really enjoying making these quick little videos on the second channel. People like them, so yeah. Sleepy Council says polar bears. I need to get things in my inventory. Uh, I'm Quinzar says, what's the opinion on energy drinks? I'm assuming you have an opinion on them because you've brought it up. 
Let me know, let me know. Um, Guardian says, dude, are doing time lapses with that piston technique or by hand? I'm doing a time lapse by recording it with the other computer. Now, I should have more sponges around here. Oh. Uh, that's interesting. There should be well over a stack of sponges. Now, I, what I might have done is put them in my ender chest. I don't remember doing that. Let's go... Or maybe... Are there furnaces there? Maybe like they're like in the furnace? <laughs> X, do you have a video on buds? I'm not sure if I do. I think I've used buds. Oh, there you go. That makes sense. Yeah, just over a stack. What did I say? Uh, Clamp says this is my first ever Sumer stream. Hello, everybody. Hello, Clamp. Welcome to the stream. Someone says... Uh, the Lord says internet sucks. My internet is good for streaming right now. Uh, Dark Acti says, Blaze Rods. Yep, Blaze Rods. Blaze Rods indeed. So, what are we going to do? We're going to go up there, we're going to place this stuff, then we're going to knock down some sand, which means we need torches. So, guess what we're doing? We're being prepared, right? And that is a good thing. Let's get some sticks. And sticks we can get from here. What happened to that moving, the moving time lapses, says James... Spoff off. Uh, 1.9 happened, so we can't do those until the mod updates for that version of Minecraft. We need more than 16 torches for this next bit, I know it. So I should probably have a bit of a look around here. Uh, more sticks, more torches, all good. That will do us just fine. 51, I reckon that's good. Okay, so I need to set up the, uh, the second one, don't I? And I've got to think about how I want to do this. So we talked about this a little bit before, about positioning your camera and stuff and I think I'd like to go with something maybe a little mm. I was thinking we could put the camera here and you can see the sand come down and then all of the prismarine like bit by bit but if we do that I think we're going to miss out on filling up the sand so maybe we'll do that shot first uh, Andrew thank you for the, the message I'm glad you watch all the videos I'm glad you like them appreciate you letting me know uh, there is a polar bear in 1.10 says Dyer Diap, I'm going to call you Diap, and uh, yes, there is. I, I I made a video on my second channel. If you're not if you're not aware of the second channel, subscribe, go check it out. Also, um, oh no no sorry, I got a notification, but it's from a different day. Right, so bear with me, bear with me. I know we've not done too much at the beginning of this one, but I need to move my camera very carefully up into the sky, which I'm doing right now, and it's hovering over uh, all of the different segments. I'm going to get like a straight top down sort of view. I think. Yeah, that's sort of... Oh my god, this mouse is unbelievably bad for what I'm trying to do. Let's try that again. Look down. Okay, I've got my view sorted out. Now what I'm going to do is zoom in a little. And then I'm going to unplug the mouse. Court see of you guys suggesting it. Okay, mouse unplugged. That was not difficult. Let's double check. Yep, it's unplugged. Alright. Hey X, what would you... Be if you weren't a YouTuber. Niles, I would be a musician. As I was before. Right. Let's hit the record button. Bam! We are making a video on the other computer. So we better get up there and do some work. Right. Someone's at Faroim says flip the mouse upside down. Nice idea, but flipping it would disrupt the mouse's alignment. So, unfortunately not. Uh, Slam says be right back X. Gonna get some tea. No problem at all, buddy. Tea is good. Tea I encourage. Okay, we're going to start off with this one right here, which is probably going to be the most difficult one, because I think we need to go... Ooh, one and two? Like, oh, that was slow. Wow, that was slow. Oh, no, this is rubbish. <laughs> I'm going to use like, all of them up in one go here. Right, spam has worked for us in the past. Now it doesn't seem to be doing too much. I'm shocked and appalled how bad I am at this. Right, once you get it broken up a little bit though, it's not so bad, is it? Hi, and we've got a friend! We've got a friend joining us down here. Looks like I dropped two lots of sand in there, didn't I? Give me a hug. Right. And uh, now we just got to poke away at the sand like this. Oh dear. Oh no, actually, I wasn't going to do that, I've just realised. <laughs> Damn it. Oh well. That was going to be for like the second part of the time lapse. So... A A H. <laughs> That's all I'm going to read of your name. Says I see you got some serious progress going on. Yep, we got progress going on. That's for sure. Right, let's pick up these. Hop down here. You can't shoot me, guy. I'm running away. 
chuck them in the furnace. We need a quicker way of getting up and down for this time lapse. I've not thought this through. Uh, have we got any more ladders lying around? 14 there. Oh man, I really need to think things through a little bit more. And no other wood. Oh, I, I'll, oh I've got the means to grow wood. Yeah. I'm already not being a fan of that. <laughs> right, we've got a noise in my ear. We will check that in a second. Someone says, you shovel and torch in offhand. I don't, I don't want to use the offhand for what I'm doing right now. I've tried it before. A lot, lot of people always suggest, use the offhand, use the offhand. I don't think the offhand is suitable all of the time. There are times when it's good. Right, growing to a magical tree. Cheers. Now I've got to find my axe, which is in a chest up the top. Man, this, this time lapse is going to need some serious editing to make it look good. Uh, Ian Balassi says, X, are you a fan of oolong tea? I usually drink Assam or Assam blend English breakfast, but I've been drinking lots of oolong lately. I I've never heard of oolong, and it almost sounds like a made-up tea, but there are loads of crazy names for tea, so oolong probably not too surprising. And my axe isn't up the top, I'm an idiot. Well, let's take my water bucket, that might be useful. Wow. Tremendous start to the stream, and... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, to the stream, I was just reading chat there, someone trying to be offensive. Congratulations you for uh, offending no one, but <laughs> wasting your own time, I don't know. Right, we will quickly chop this down and make some ladders then. Or make some more ladders. I'd like to have a seventh one. Seven logs, you know, split it up into um, sticks and then you've got an equal amount for, for using ladders. Okay, that's good. Uh, Fabian says, I hope your camera account has night vision. It does. You can't even tell that it's night. Looking over at it. Right, you can never have enough ladders. That's one thing with Minecraft. 38 will probably do fine, though. Okay, so what goes back in there? That does... That's about it, really. Yeah, okay, so onwards. Onwards we go. Pig Killer says, Logfella ran out of wood. Have we run out of wood already? I have not had the time. Actually, I had the time today. I completely forgot. Wow. Um, to help stock up the shop. I guess maybe I'll, I'll do that tomorrow instead. Yeah, as I said, I had a bit of a slower day today. Did manage to uh, get some of this cordoned off and ready, though. X, how much for a virtual hub? Hug, says... Uh, Lubbock, you do, you don't need to pay anything. You get you get a virtual hug from me, free of charge. How about that? Oh, don't want to break that. Just the ladder. That's going to happen more often. By the way, we got a noise in here a moment ago. We got a donation from, and uh, let's just get to the top. Bam, from Edison Keys saying, "Hey X, been so glad Hermitcraft 4 is in action. I was going through withdrawals in the downtime. Also, you want to hear a pizza joke? Never mind. It's pretty cheesy." Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. I hope you enjoyed today's stream. And uh, yeah, yeah, Hermitcraft 4 has been going great. What was the down... T ah, what was the downtime? Because it was like, it was only like a few days between Season 3 and Season 4. There wasn't much of a big gap. I don't know. Uh, Interstellar Fish says, X, I often keep food in my offhand. It frees up a spot in your hot bar and it's better for you. Because you'll actually eat more. Sounds sounds reasonable, but then you walk around doing this. I guess that's not too bad, is it? I'm shaking a steak, alright? I'm shaking a steak. Now, this one's going to be easier, I think. Aha, uh -huh, not like that, though. <laughs> try, we'll try a little bit different, maybe. No. No, we're just going to swim down here in the water. Forever spinning around. Right, yeah, that's... Is there a friend down here with me? I think we've made a friend. Okay, yeah. All of that. All of that too. Right, here's where it might get tricky. Aha! Because there's all of that down there. So, we actually kind of need to end our business around now. And we got a way back in, which is cool. And we'll take some of these sponges as well. Alright then. Name him Gary, says Lord Lime. But you know, I've got so many name tags, we could very easily name tag one of them. But then they'll try and shoot me constantly. Which is not so fun. I should probably use that coal a little bit more efficiently, shouldn't I? 
I'm just a little bit concerned about the time lapse at the moment. When you speed things up, all of this looks good. Uh, Major Spurge says the most efficient way to clear the water is to place sponges in five blocks wide water balls. Uh, and your chat, you know, disappeared off the screen as it would do because people would be talking so fast. Cha. Um, yeah, yeah, but what's efficient isn't always what's fast because the reality is I don't have to spend as much time putting sand up the top here. And then when I drop down and do it the derpy way, we still get it done eventually, right? It takes us maybe a bit more on the descent. Oh, and I thought I missed a bit up top. Um, but it's faster in a way. It could be even faster if I could place these a little bit more reasonably. That was actually not so bad, that one. Hi, made another friend. Where is Lolcat? Says uh, Kukrez. I don't know. I had no idea how to say your name. Lolcat is not on today. I haven't enabled it. That's that's all there is to say about that. And that's another little section done. <laughs> it's like one in each at the moment. They've all got their own little rooms. Let's take a few more sponges. Oh, maybe that's the only one we can reach. I should probably like jump up there and get a few more on the back way back down. X, where's the daily video? Uh, the puddings, I had loads of problems with Skylines, so I didn't put up an episode today. And I reckon I might put up an episode on Monday for it. But no promises yet, just going to see how it all goes. Um, we've got enough to do one more section. Maybe not, we might be cutting it close now. So let's pop these out. I remember doing a time lapse of this for Guard 4. It turned out really good, but this one won't be quite the same. It is, you see, when you stream, you're focusing on another thing. And it just sort of gets in the way a little bit. Now, did we clear the the stuff? Don't go down there. Yeah, we didn't clear that out, did we? Because it was hidden behind some sand that we barely knew about. So we'll make sure to take care of that. And I don't want to leave just one behind by itself. Let's do that. Let's be smart about it. Let's use our brain smarts. Can I not reach that? It kind of feels like I should be able to reach that. There you go, just about. Uh, X smith busting of yours are the best. Thank you so much. I put an immense amount of effort and uh, time into those. Try, try and make them best I can, you know. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right, there's some filthy water back there, isn't there? This guardian don't mind, he likes the water. Okay, so one above us. And that's all we need. Get out of it, you. <laughs> Leave my sponges alone. Right, pop down here. Power Ghost says, oh, underwater temple. Yeah, that's what we're working on right here. Building a farm. In fact, the farm's sort of already there and built. It's getting more efficient. Oh, I'm looking for my food. It's on me offhand. Yeah, I like this idea. Hey, X, I'm working on homework while watching you. Awesome, awesome player. Thank you for letting me know. Make sure you do a good job of your homework, though. Don't, don't second guess it. <laughs> All right, and... Uh, we're going to go down here next. The other one's got like water at the back. I don't want the sponges to fall down there, actually. So we should probably like cordon that off a little bit. Actually, that's a good idea. We could build a little platform and sort of separate it. Put torches in your offhand, says the omnipotent space potato. Who else wants to suggest what I should put in my offhand? Like, Backseat Gaming got an upgrade when they added the offhand, you know? Now everyone's got a suggestion. <laughs> and we're getting noises in my ear. Uh, we will have to... Go sort that out, won't we? So we're going to pop down here and chuck things into the fern eye, as Iskow would say, and take things out as well. 30 will be enough for another one. We actually want this to go faster, so we'll put some in there. All right. Um, yes, we got a donation from Rocky Avalon saying, X, you missed my second donation. I did? That's your third then. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you for all the donations. Um, so, X, you missed my second donation, but whatever, I'm not crying or anything. Nope, not at all. I, I apologise. Let's scroll back. Uh, he says, that's too bad, I guess. I'll just have to read your blog. Anyways, do you listen to some big band show tunes jazz, i.e. Dean Martin, Louis Armstrong, Frank Sinatra? Um, I have done in the past. I've checked out Swing and Big Band, and uh, I do like it, but... Never quite found something that drawed me in, you know, uh, that made you want to go listen to, to it and pick out some albums and stuff. So if you've got any recommendations, of course, hit me up with some. Um, what was I going to say, though? 
It's not, well, an artist came to mind that really isn't actually like similar to that genre at all. Um, but if you like blues music at all, one I really like is Albert King. He's got this record called Born Under a Bad Sign. Uh, that is a really great record. It's not the same sort of music, but it just sort of popped into my head. So, something for you maybe if you like blues. Right, oi! Oi, no, no! Okay, okay, good, good. Let's not do that. Right, we're collecting... Oi, no! We're collecting some of our own Guardian friends now. Some even more. Okay, and just noises everywhere. Let's scroll up on the thing. We got a resubscribe. We'll get to that in one second because things are shooting me and I need to put down a torch. Bam, and now... Something else to shoot. Oi, no, no, no. Guys, calm down. Right, over we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, got a noise in my ear here from uh, Zlot Nello. Resubscribing for two months in a row. Thank you so much for the epic support. I hope you have a great time on today's stream and enjoy me shuffling a steak and a torch. Yes, I am a skilled juggler. I know you're impressed. I know you're impressed. Let's take these back. Foolish Sum says, is your name Susan? No, it's not Susan. I don't know where you got that from. <laughs> and uh, we've got a donation here from Art of Mana saying, Hi Asuma, Mana Splash Raid, hope you're having a great day. Thank you for the raid, my friend. I saw that you were live earlier. I think, ow, I need to return the favour, but I do believe you always stream before I do. Um, yeah, I saw you, saw you were uh, live, but... Um, but yeah, I was about to go live myself. Anyway, thank you for the raids. I hope you enjoy the stream we're doing here today. And Lil Conboy says, Hey X, did you and the other hermits have your meeting yesterday? We did. What would you like to know? There's some things I can tell you about. For example, the banners. We've had a look at the banners. We've What we've done is each person takes on, or you know, not every person as in each, but We've, we've divided up the different districts to different people to look through the banners and pick out their favourites and then maybe do a poll or just pick one or something like that. So what you might see is a bit of tweet action or in the videos like a link to a poll from some of the hermits allowing you to vote on what banners you'd like to see. Um, and I have the white district, that's the one that I'm doing. And Wells I think has blue, Cleo has purple and that's how the banners are being done. Uh, but yeah, anything else you want to know, just ask. And man, this, today is the day of noises in my ear. Oh my days, right, up here we go. Uh, and another, my god. Slow down people, slow down. I'm instructing you to slow down, let's uh... <laughs> stay. No, no, uh, <laughs> learn to Minecraft. Oh my god, right, let's do it that way around. Yeah, this time lapse is going to be an odd one to edit. Anyway, we've got a donation here from Panda. Oclear, is it? You know I can't say names, you know that by now. Payday today, I am an animator at a university and was wondering what's your opinion on, is on an animated movies slash shorts is. What is your favourite animated creation? Have a great evening and drink your tea. Happy streaming friend. Uh, Panda, thank you so much for the tea reminder. My god, it has been 23 minutes. This tea is maybe past its prime. Right, that is some um, time for us to stand right here for a moment, away from the, the messiness of the Guardians and have a quick little chat. So, um, when it comes to stuff like animation, like, because it's not a passion of mine in, in a way, like, I've always appreciated good animation, I, I, nothing ever jumps out, but I've got, like, uh, let's say, like, some movies that are animated or I've seen cartoons and, yeah, there's some of it, oh my god, I knew that happened, some of it that's really great, uh, but nothing comes to mind, like, I'm terrible at that. I've said that so many times. Um, however, you reminded me of something. Uh, on on YouTube, there's there's like a, a sort of hidden economy of video creation with like time and effort. And in the beginning, there were a lot of YouTubers, uh, sorry, animators on YouTube who used to make animation videos, and they got phased out like really bad when YouTube made made an algorithm change because they inadvertently took away viewership and money by changing the way that their system worked from people who did animation videos because the animations were shorter and they cost a lot more to make like you know like doing a 30 minute minecraft video is probably nothing compared to a three minute animation video and they accidentally like destroyed like a community of animators i'm sure you could find videos on it like seriously lots of animation channels just sort of died out as soon as 
uh, they pushed out this algorithm change because they decided that 12 minute videos were the best and then all the little 3 minute videos disappeared. It's interesting. Panda says, tell me about it. So you, you know about this too, because let's say some younger people here today, or maybe not even younger, just, you know, if you weren't aware of it, you're not aware of it, are you? It's just like that. There's lots of things happening in the world. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I couldn't give you a specific date, but I think it happened back in like 2011 sort of time. Kind of when Minecraft was kicking off, because that was when I was like really getting into YouTube and making my own videos, and then you hear about this whole... Oh, that change they made, you know, that's hurting all these channels, and you're like, oh, that's not very good. Okay, can we get out of here? Oh, Yes, we can. Give me some sponge, right. Got to be careful about these ones now. So what we're going to do next is build a little platform at the back there. Hi! <laughs> I see you. Seeing me. Uh, do you know Slammer Cow's animations? Yeah, I remember Slammer Cow, absolutely. Uh, he might have been one to suffer over time for that. I don't know. I've not followed his channel in years, so I'm not sure like where they're at these days. Uh, X, your total views are 666. What is your explanation? I'm in league with Satan. I admit it, okay? That's why you see that number. <laughs> no, that's, that's rubbish. Um, what am I looking for? I came back here to get some blocks, I think. Just any old blocks. Maybe colourful blocks, although our colours are like grey and brown. There you go. That's as colourful as we get. We're going to make it multicoloured, because why not? Uh, MC Fex says, do you know Kurt Zagrat? I do. I watched his Space Elevator video today. Interesting channel. Good stuff. I don't always agree with like some of his videos, though. And we talked about that the other day, because I, I, I agree with his uh, the War on Drugs video, like the overall point of it, but... I didn't agree with like the way he put the video together, but you know that's that's life, isn't it? Everyone's got an opinion. Everyone's got an opinion. Is something shooting me? Something's trying to shoot me. I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's hop up on here. So this is going to allow us to collect the sponges because without it, um, they would fall down into the water and forever be lost, probably. Uh, Spooky says, "X, why is the stream video quality so bad?" Well, for me, it is absolutely normal running here as we should be, so I don't really have an answer other than maybe your internet is the problem, possibly. I don't know, but everything is fine on my end, so maybe restart your internet, I don't know. Sometimes it's like that, okay. Ah, oh, no, that's a little different there. Either way, we'll just do that, I don't care. <laughs> I'm not bothered. It doesn't bother me. Hey X, do you have a favourite YouTuber? Um, again, again, putting me on the spot here, you know, <laughs> with these questions. I know it's a stream, but I'm terrible. I'm like, oh, I can't mention someone because I'll forget someone else. Uh, Tom Scott lately has been a really great channel that I've been enjoying. I love, love those mini games he comes up with as well, or at least the ones he presents with uh, his, his co-presenter. Yeah, if you haven't seen his channel, he does very interesting videos about all sorts of things. And I am forgetting about noises in me. I'm so bad today. And uh, he also does these mini games, like little strategy mini games for guests, and they're really clever. So yeah, Tom Scott, you know, have a, have a look. <laughs> okay, just a few more here, and then I've got to catch up on messages because I'm doing a very bad job of that today. Man, we got some friends over there flapping around, haven't we? And another one. What is going on? Slow down, people. Slow down. Right. Cool, I'm trying to make a time lapse. This has been the lengthiest time lapse I think ever for the amount of stuff we've actually got done. So let's go have a look. Um, we've got one here from Pony Butts saying, "I'm sketching the last shirt design and I'm already angry at how cute it is. How dare you have an adorable skin?" Oh, the last one. Remind me, Pony. I believe it is. Oh, let's think. It's the Assumer in a Pocket one or something along those lines. Either way. Uh, Pony is making some really amazing designs. I cannot wait to share them with all of you, actually. They are so cool. And did I actually go and put those things in the furnace? Because I don't recall doing that. And that means that my brain is doing things automatically. Oh, God! Do Minecraft better, all right? <laughs> and I need to eat. And it's on my offhand. And as I'm walking around talking, I'm also thinking, where's my food? <laughs> oh, Okay, okay, right. Next one. 
Uh, thanks for watching the great streams and videos. I have been watching since the start of Hermitcraft 2 and your content has kept me happy through trying times. Do you like Lou Reed slash Velvet Underground? Uh, I've never given either of them too much time. I have a Lou Reed record. Couldn't tell you too much about it. I can almost picture the uh, the album cover in my mind, but it was one that Henry Rollins went on about and said was really good. And I got it and I listened to it like once and then forgot about it. Um, so that's my experience with Lou Reed. I've also heard the stuff that he did with Metallica, and I felt that that like that record opens itself up to like you know complete. Uh, what would you call it? Just it basically opens itself up to be criticised and slaughtered by fans. Like surely they should have seen that coming. Um, but you know it's not it's not terrible. It's just Lou Reed and Metallica don't like seem to find a similar wavelength. They they just seem to. Their ideas are just almost as if from separate things, just happening in the same space and time. Um, and yeah, that is the, I forget the name of it, the I Am The Table record that Metallica did. And I listened to it, and you know what, the guitars are quite good. The guitar riffs, like James had like a fair bit of inspiration going, but none of it just mixes anywhere else, like with Lou Reed and, and stuff. So yeah. Um, Drella, did I read your name out? Drella0524, thank you for your donation, do appreciate it. Uh, on to Kazano here, saying, glad you're working on the Guardian farm. Here's a ceiling idea for the Guardian item farm collection room. Uh, I will have to look at that later on, I can't really open it up while I'm streaming, bud, but thanks for sharing. Uh, someone tweeted me something earlier to do with a Guardian farm. If that were you, I've already seen it and I liked it. Um, however, I will check that out later on after the stream. Okay. Now let's catch up with some chat here because there's folks in chat. Hi, folks. Uh, yeah, there's there's lots of chat going through here. Hey, X, have you ever thought about adding scoreboards to track stuff while the server is still fresh? Yeah, there are. There's scoreboards running that track a few things like deaths, kills, damage dealt, mobs killed. Um, they're running in the background uh, as well as that. There's also, um, we're supposed to set up like on the tab screen instead of deaths. It's supposed to be minutes played, but that's still a working pro. There they are. My God, <laughs> keep giving myself little heart attacks there. X, how far away can the guardians spawn from the monument? They can spawn basically from the edge of the monument upwards. So the corner of the monument, the block that is a part of the monument, that space going up to the top, that's their spawning area. But they can also spawn just outside due to um, pack spawning. So you want to go a little bit further, basically, than than that area. Right, so I think we'll do this one next. And again, we are going to go with the old... Oh, wasted. Wasted a sponge. The old just spin around placing them method. That I love this method. It's so efficient. <laughs> Bam, it works, though. Ha, and you leave little spots like that, which is no bother. Bam. Ooh. Bam, 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 put one on top of the other one. <laughs> and, oh, almost there, I thought, but no. Still got a bit more to go. Yeah, that's more like it. Cool, so I'm going to hop on, oh, missed. Well, either way, I'm going to set something up here. No, I've got it, I've gone and done it wrong. Oh, I'm going to waste all these blocks. <laughs> I'm so bad at this, aren't I? This was not this was not a great task to do while streaming. I've learnt that now. For some reason, doing this stuff requires a little bit of concentration. Okay, now that's all patchwork, isn't it? I'm going to patch this up as well because it is annoying me. Yay! Done. Put down a torch so you can see what we're doing. The Jeff says, do you like coffee? I love coffee, it tastes great, but I'm pretty sure that drinking coffee on a regular basis is bad for you. Like, when I drink coffee on a regular basis, I, like, really crave it, you know? Um, and even when I limit myself to one a day, I find if I drink coffee, I will wake up groggy the next day, every single time, and you feel like you need a coffee to get going. And without it, you just feel normal, so... For that reason, I don't... Ugh, almost lost them, but didn't. <laughs> For that reason, I don't um, drink coffee regularly. I'll have one like on a blue moon, like once a month or something, but that's about it. Bam! Go straight past those guys. 
X, do you add cream and sugar? I don't. I um, I have a tiny bit of milk with my tea. Just a tiny little bit. And that's it. Uh, NJH1309 says, Actually, a cup a day makes you live longer. Well, that's... You know, there's some research out there that suggests it's healthy. There's some that would also suggest it isn't. Uh, Zlot and Leo says, What do you think about CGP Grey's video about coffee? He says it's fine and does no harm. Um... You know, like, see, I, I I remember reading stuff about coffee being terrible for you, and I read stuff that says it's the best stuff ever. You know, people who do research find results, and another people doing research with different methods could find different results. Um, I think it probably falls under the category of many things that it's fine in moderation. You know, you know, have have one every every other day or something, but don't drink a lot of it. All oh, right, more tea, good stuff. Uh, Joel Stoner says, too much of anything is bad for you, moderation is the key. Exactly. Uh, but you also need to know what is too much, because, you know, too much water. If you treated water like coffee, then um, you wouldn't get enough water, would you? <laughs> but, you know, so for me, I definitely, without a doubt, have a problem with drinking coffee every day. I know that's bad for me, I can feel it, because I just feel groggy and I crave it constantly. But it's per person, you might not have that problem, you know? But anyway, if you do if you do drink it and feel like you need it to get going, then I, I would say that that is like a sign that you probably shouldn't drink it as much. Like you should be able to function without like some alien substance that you need to rely on, right? Like, like I don't know I don't know how coffee works in evolution, but uh, a lot of like foods like fruit and vegetables are part of your evolution. Like you you need them, you're gonna eat them because they're good for your body. Your body knows what to do with it. Uh, stuff like alcohol is so uh, been around for such a while now that it's actually part of evolution that humans have developed resistance to it if, to some extent. Oh yeah, we were here a moment ago. Um, so that's part of your evolution. You will naturally have a little bit more of a immunity to alcohol than you would to other stuff because we've gotten used to constantly consuming it. Um, where coffee falls into that, I don't know actually. I don't know where coffee... Um, you know, how long have we been drinking coffee for? How widespread is it? How much people use it. It might be that we've built a resistance to it a little bit. Because it's uh, it's a stimulant. It's technically a drug. Caffeine. If you didn't know. Six litres of water in a short time will kill you, says uh, Spitty. Challenge accepted. No, I'm joking. It probably would. It probably would. Um, do you know what? Every now and then I get these really like... They're not... They're not that nice. I don't know. They're, they're like cravings for water. Like, like you feel really thirsty, and drinking water is really satisfying. But it doesn't get rid of the thirst. And then you drink quite a bit of water, and you start to feel a bit odd. Um, it happens to me every once in a while. I don't know what that is, but let's give this guy a hug. <laughs> now you should probably get out of there because I want to empty that one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this guy with his spikes. Oh no! Don't put your spikes out. Get out of it. <laughs> right, we're gonna make our lives easier now. Man, the amount of editing I'm going to have to do on this time lapse to remove all of me faffing around, <laughs> it's going to be insane. Okay, so Glet Shima says, idea to increase progress on the whole server, the log feathers should support Impulse and Tango by providing them with free wooden doors for the Iron Titan. I, uh, I think they've already sorted themselves out. I mean, helping each other is, is part of the game. You know, look at the service we provide, you know, a stack of logs for a diamond, what a bargain. You know, you don't have to chop that down. You've got diamonds, you're selling things too. It's all part of the economy. Bam, bam. Hi. Hi. <laughs> we got to go out this way, haven't we? Where's my... Uh, why have I removed those? They're, they're useful. Though. No! I've gone the wrong way! Wait, what does this mean? What does this mean? It means I have to go here. Right, down there. Fun fact! Tea has more caffeine in it than coffee. Uh, Dad's smart. That doesn't sound true at all. <laughs> Tea doesn't have a lot of caffeine in it. It has a very small amount, I think. That's a, oh, I saw a message there I want to read, I think. I read the first line. Scarlet Blade says, I used to be addicted to caffeine like coffee and soda, but now I'm not into it. I hated the caffeine headaches and it just wasn't worth it. Honestly, I'll have a coffee or soda every once in a while. But honestly, I prefer coffee from home over Starbucks. 
Interesting, yeah. Home coffee for me has always been alright, and then coffee from places like Starbucks, which is one of the companies I don't, you know, buy from. Um, they uh, they always feel a bit like sharper and a bit more perked up, you know, like like they've got more punch in them. They're a bit thicker, and I reckon they put cream in them. But I don't know. Normally that's an option when you ask for one, but they always they just yeah. When you buy them from the the cafe shop, it's always just a bit more potent. Potent. That's the best word. All oh, right. Um, I got a question here in chat from Ty Zax. I'm just going to turn on my light, saying, "Do you plan on using the Guardian as your base?" I do. This is going to become part of my base now. That's part of the plan. Let's pop back up here. X, what about start a single player world? Tim, not going to happen. I uh, I never understand the requests for that. Like, because when you get requests, people are suggesting content for you to make, and it, most of the time it's like content they think they'd enjoy. But like, if you think about it, if I did a single player world, Hermitcraft would like be less frequent. I could put less time into it, and then I'd have like this new world where I'm starting from scratch, which again would have even less time than Hermitcraft, and then I couldn't do all the things that I can do playing with other people. You know, I can still do everything I can do in single player here on Hermitcraft. So it's, it's I always find that a little bit counterproductive. You know, if I did do a single player world, it would probably suck. <laughs> to, to be fair. Because uh, I couldn't, you know, couldn't do as much. Then this would suffer as well. Guys, man, we are having a party over here. What is going on, peeps? Guardian party. Let's get out of here. Before they spot me. Before they realise I'm not one of them. Quick, in the mosh pit. <laughs> and out again. By the way, when you go close to them, that stops them attacking you. So that's how we deal with that. Alright, at some point I'm going to have to go away and come back again. Just to sort it out. Alright, up we go. Are you making the Guardian farm by yourself, says Wessel. Yep. Yes, I am. I think we have another noise in my ear that I missed. From Rocky Avalon saying, Donation bar broke, but I'm back, I hope. Also, never do a Minecraft animations. Keep it real. Did you notice <laughs> there was a couple more trolls in the comments of your last video than usual? Not trying to come off as rude, but I just enjoy Down to Earth X. Um, comments comments have been a little bit interesting lately because my channel's gone into a little bit of a growth spurt and I've noticed over the years that when you go into growth spurts you get a lot of people who are not used to you and they speak to you quite differently. Now sometimes that comes across as maybe being a little bit rude or trollish in a way um, and also a lot of comments where they talk indirectly like uh, you know why does this guy do... Why, why is he building a guardian farm? Do you know what I mean? And you're like, hey, you're, you're leaving a comment on my video. I'm reading this. <laughs> Don't you know? Um, so yeah, there's been there's been like a, a noticeable difference in the comments for a while. And I've also been a little bit more quieter in the comments because of it. Because it's, it's kind of hard to constantly address uh, those sorts of comments over and over again. Bam. Right. Let's get out of here. I've got all my sponges. <laughs> All right, uh, Asuma, I watched your professional Minecraft videos. That was epic, says the temporizer. Absolutely, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, the uh, professional Minecrafters is an episode of Hermitcraft to definitely go check out. Episode 299, just what a hilarious adventure. Um, also, we got a resubscribe 12 months in a row, one year, absolutely epic from Bertie J. 373, man, as I saw your name pop up there, I'm like, has it been a month already? Because I remember reading your name last time. And uh, and thinking, one month to go. But thank you so much for a year of support. Really appreciate it. That is absolutely epic, isn't it? We say that every time. It's epic. <laughs> Ofa says, Hey X, just got me some tea because you made me want some. And I was wondering, what teas are you drinking right now? Ofa, I am drinking Assam. It's a stronger multi flavour. I also drink Earl Grey. I've been turned on to that recently. Tried Lady Grey. Lady Grey is a bit too fragrant heavy for me. It's like an Earl Grey, but more fragrant -y. And... Uh, and that's kind of it, really. I need to try some more teas, I think. I've got some more. I've got one with a weird name that I can't say, like Selianor or something. That's like with a C and a Y. I'm not too sure what that one is. Right, and I'm getting zapped again, aren't I? They're trying to zap me. Oh, man, there's like a bit right here in the middle. There we go. Okay. Oh. And I think we've got to be careful here. Right, now we're ready to build our little platform, aren't we? Oh, yes, we are. Sweet. We did that right for once. 
Oh, hi! Hi, you want to come up here? No, stay down there. Right, now we get our sponges back. Uh, pronounced Ceylon, says Falks. Ceylon. It might be. You know what? It might be Ceylon. Yeah, I can see that making sense. I'm just wondering if there's a couple more like letters and syllables in there. And we got a donation here, a noise in my ear from Falks, saying, Science time. Tea contains more caffeine than coffee. Weight by weight, but since the average tea bag weighs 2 grams, while people tend to put about 7 grams of coffee per cup. Regards, Dr. Falks, not a real doctor. Thank you, Falks, as always. Uh, that is fascinating. I did not know that. Um, I do not feel like a grogginess or a craving for tea. Like, I have a tea because I enjoy it, but it's definitely not a craving like you crave coffee. Like, there's a difference between waking up and going, I want a tea, you know, because you like tea, and, like, craving it, right? Definitely not a craving, and I, de I don't feel like it stim stimulates in any way, but yeah, so two to seven. So, when you said tea contains more, I'm now wondering how much is that more? Like, if it were double, then two to seven grams doesn't seem so much, but let's say it's more, let's say tea has 1.1, right? And, and coffee has one, then you're talking... 7 grams of caffeine and 2.2 grams of caffeine. So now there's a big difference between. So even even though you've gone and found the numbers, like numbers and percentages, and I'm a little bit worried about how many of these we've got. I think we should gather all of our sponges. Yeah, there's always going to be a bit of a, an um and an ah about it, you know? Like a way to manipulate numbers. Not not saying you're manipulating them, just anyone can. Uh, XPID says, hey X, new subscriber here from Norway. Please read this, I'll be happy. You are now happy. Isn't that amazing? How did I do that? That was magic. All I had to do is read a message and you're happy. Brilliant. That makes me happy. <laughs> Rocky Avalon says, darn, still not up there. Maybe it's just not meant to be. Anyway, what's your opinion on bottled vending machine tea? Never had bottled vending machine tea. So I don't have an opinion on it. Um, actually, well, it depends what you mean by vending machine. A place I used to work at had a, a free hot drinks machine. And they give you like this dinky little cup. Um, and you could have tea with that. And it wasn't that great, but it was alright. <laughs> they also did coffee and like tomato. I think they had a like, hot soup tomato drink, which was great. And they were free, man. I used to have like three or four a day. Good times. <laughs> Falk says, I can keep up the science facts per stream if people want. I want to help educate the world. I think I think facts on this stream, I think stuff like that, is a, this is a good place to discuss it. My husband got me this afternoon tea for Xmas. It was nice. Now, can't find it anywhere. Afternoon tea? Um, if that's the name, if that's what you mean. I was going to say, because there's English breakfast. Right, so what do we got? We got 20... So, 51. There's like another section, so we've probably still got our full stack. And there's one more section to do, actually, after that. Have you ever had real Japanese green tea? Uh, R5Dad, depending on how you define real, I don't know. Probably not. I've had twinings, you know. Green tea, that sort of stuff. So, do you drink fruit tea? Smonomon, I've had fruit tea. I'm not too keen on it. It's very, just very fragrantly... Fragrant tree, no, fragrantly. Uh, don't know what one to use, um, and and very flavorful, but nothing I like particularly keen on. 1.9% caffeine on tea and 1.2% caffeine on coffee. There you go. So 0.7 difference per kilogram. It's still coffee. Still got more. I think you know, doing the rough math, it can't be that much. Nah, could, no way that could be off, but um. There you go, there's the numbers for you. Anyway, I do like my tea. I've had some decaffeinated tea and it tastes awful. Absolutely awful. According to a Google search, those five hour energy things have the most caffeine in on the market. Oh, if you're talking about caffeine drinks, uh, co energy drinks, they are disgusting, man. They, they lump it with caffeine because they have to take caffeine out of other products. And then they just, they went, what do we do with all this caffeine? Well, market it and sell it to people that don't realise, well, that don't don't know that they don't even want it until they've been advertised to. Does that make sense? Ian Ballacy says, X definitely got some oolong tea from a local tea shop. It's the third primary type of tea between green and black in oxidation. All right, that's interesting. I'll have to try and get some. Have you got the new Reddit app? I have Reddit, but 
just I've like totally lost interest in reading that website. It's just it's just like the comments, man. Whenever I read something on there, I go to the comments like, oh, I want to see what people are saying about this. Like, is there more to know about this or whatever? And in the comments is just everyone making like wisecracks, and like there's just trails of wisecracks everywhere. People just trying to grab karma. It's uh, it gets tiring after a few years. Oh my god, zombie! What are you doing down here? This is a guardian monument, an ocean monument. You're not allowed in here. Right now we've got to do this bit and do it right. This guy's right in my way. Oh look, see? Ugh. No! Oh, I'm not trying to place it there. Oh, this is the worst. Right, that zombie better go away. Get out of it, you undead fool! Go die again. <laughs> Did zombies ever die? I wonder. I wonder. Have they already died? Let's put down a torch. And I've uh, got a noise in my ear here from Free Cuddles for Everyone saying, Hey X, I hope you have a good Friday. Have fun. Thank you so much. I've had a great Friday actually. It's been a good one. And uh, the stream so far has been excellent. We're getting lots done. <laughs> the time lapse is going to be interesting to edit, that's for sure. Because I think if I think I still would have been doing this at a similar pace, just not quite as slow. Hey X, have you had the pleasure to watch and of the 360 degree videos? I've like checked them out. I I'm yet to uh, I'm yet to like see like you know a 360 video that demands my attention for 360. I guess maybe if you were really interested in what it was about and there was a reason to like look in all angles, it would probably be really great. But at the moment, all it is to me is a bit of a novelty. I want to do one myself actually. I've sort of been planning one a little bit. Um, which would be cool to do, to check out, see what people think of it, but I'm yet to think of like a great reason to actually have 360. Uh, British Banter Baron says, This music is really soothing. Great choice for a stream hosted by someone who has a soothing British voice. Thank you. It's a nice break from being in South London, where the grammar has broken down. I was, I was sort of about to burst into like, a bit of a London accent, but I didn't know <laughs> what I was doing. Oh, I'm never never good at doing accents on the spot. My brain just goes a bit unsure of itself. <laughs> but yeah, the music's great, isn't it? Crinkles, really good stuff. Just totally chill. I love ambient music, chilled out stuff. There's some really great stuff out there. A lot of ambient music can be themed to like a particular vibe or feel. Um, like, have some Adrian von Zliegler, or however you say his name in my archive. We've got some like real like natural like uh, wildlife sounds in there and then some of his stuff is more like Viking folk Scandinavian folk kind of stuff and there's there's like ambient music for all sorts of things like space vibes and yeah anything you think of really it's really cool stuff to the mumbo voice Ash Bradley you can go watch the old video if you want to hear me do it I'll tell you what though one thing about mumbo that I picked up on for that video that once I mention to it you'll not be able to hear it he double says things uh, he'll say like, we've now made it back over to the Mumbo Jumbo Circle and we're here at the Mumbo Jumbo Circle. He like double says things like a lot, I've noticed. Just, just, it's just like a commentating habit. I've probably got some that I do. I'm not having a go or anything. Just, it, it's funny, you'll notice it. Um, he sort of double says things. You, no arrows. Uh, no arrows. You stopped. You were shooting at me. And <laughs> see you later then. And then you stop. So that's all we're going to clear out. That's good on the time lapse. So... I think the next bit we're going to move the camera. So I'm probably actually going to go back down. Have you played the Mist series? They have a lovely soundtrack. Amber the Warrior? I haven't actually. I've sort of seen him, knew about him a bit as a kid. Might have like played a demo. Uh, but never played the game through properly. Right, so time to change the camera angle. Let's go plug in the mouse on the other computer. It's still recording. In there you go. Yaha. And I'm just changing the mouse and the angle on the other one. Right. Oh, this looks awful. Herky-jerky. Right, so now I'm going to position my camera like down looking up. And that looks really good. And now I just need to unplug the mouse. It's still recording. Good. Bam! We got a noise in my ear there. Right, that's been unplugged. So we're good to record. It's from Rocky Avalon. And there's no message. What is going on, Rocky? Did you, did you miss a message? Put it in chat. <laughs> I just realised you said double. You double said that Mumbo double says things. Says Rocketar. I did. I explained it twice. 
I did just do that. Okay, so, right, we're now filming. I'm going to look up and then look down. And we're just going to place these in a row. And probably run out of them. <laughs> They're sort of placing behind themselves as we go across as well. Right, that's good. Um, then this is going to look great for the time lapse, this bit. Oh no, I can't, I can't quite reach it. Okay, we'll go, we'll go up and do that bit then. <laughs> that would have been perfect. X, do you think a tomato is a fruit or a vegetable? Friends of mine are discussing this for like three days. Um, it is a fruit. It is classified as a fruit. For, for whatever reason, and for whatever the people who classify fruits think, apparently that's what it is. Oh, I've done that wrong, haven't I? I could have jumped through that. Could have jumped through that. Right, we'll hop over here then. Do these ones next. So, yeah, I can't really do that. We'll just do it like this then. And we got a noise in my ear. It is Jack Longman here, who is subscribing. Thanks for subscribing, Jack Longman. I hope you enjoy the stream. Have a steak and... <laughs> steak and pick shuffle on me. I just realised in that time lapse, if you watch it on YouTube, you may just notice a little Asuma there shuffling some steak and pick. And you'll remember this moment. And you'll say, I was there in the great steak and shit and steak and <laughs> steak and pick shuffle of 2016. There you go. I really get caught in my words sometimes, don't I? Right, now is there another section to the side of me here to do? I think there is. If I remember correctly, there's more. No, there's water. Brilliant. Fail. <laughs> Absolute fail. Let's go repair that then. Oh, well, that annoys me. Oh, and now we're eating, apparently. Well, up we go. Pony Butt says that was a swear. Uh, no, it wasn't. I said sh for shuffle. Right? <laughs> As I was trying to say my words. Oh, this is annoying. This is annoying me. I am trying to do a time lapse. Well, I guess it reminds me to go and collect all of these wonderful items. So we'll do just that, and we'll take down this. And I guess what I want to do is sort of look up there and see where these bits come down so I can put torches below them. That might be a little bit tricky. We'll see. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Uh, definitely need a chest. Where did that redstone come from? Hey X, really enjoy your videos. Enjoying the stream. I've been wondering, especially with the recent face cam as someone who values their privacy, do you ever worry that someone know you in real life inadvert inadvertently let your identity slip? Well, uh, you know, it might happen and I hope that it doesn't, but yeah, it's not really about like identity slipping or anything. It's just, I like it being separate, you know? It's, that's just what works for me. I'm, I'm not like here to run out there and go, hi and meet people, this is me or anything. I'm just, I'm happy doing the little assumer thing, you know? It works for me. Um, and if that did happen, you know, just deal with it. Figure it out at the time. Don't need to worry about that now. It might happen, it might not. It's not worth stressing about. Um, I'm here behind you. Wow, are you? Asuma, do you know that that I hear Finland, we drink the most coffee in the world? Wow, that is an interesting fact. I guess some country has to drink more coffee than others, right? So I guess Finland is that country. Now we know. Now we know where all the coffee's going to, right? <laughs> it's the finish. They're drinking it all. Right, over here, I'm going to go down like this. And that's probably going to create like a ghost block at some point and annoy me. Or not. Or not. Okay, so anyway, let's look at our lines. I think it's going to be quite simple. If we do this. We'll do it one line at a time. We'll go all the way over here. And we'll say hello to our guardian friends in a bit. Ha, I didn't get all of it though, did I? Bam, that one. So this kind of stuff actually looks really cool on the uh, on the camera, so that's good. Okay, this song's got a bit of a like creepy, mysterious vibe going on, doesn't it? So next one's be here. I think one of them didn't place properly. Okay, and we got a noise in my ear. Bam! Oh, I didn't quite get it. There we go. Excellent, excellent stuff. Alright, let's have a read. Uh, we got a new subscriber here. While oh, the sand falls in my face. This new subscriber's name is uh, none other than the Spadaz. 
Can I place that torch? I can. The Spatters, thank you so much for subscribing. Hope you have a great time on today's stream. Here is a little shuffle for you. And uh, there you go. Exclusive, exclusive torch and steak shuffle. I hope you enjoy it. Right. What is chat saying? Let's have a look at chat. Uh, it's actually most coffee per capita, I think. Oh, remind me of what per capita means. That one's... Oh, no. Oh, six and four. Amazing. We've kept all of it. I thought we'd lost some. Isn't that great to see? We haven't lost any. And we've got loads more sand to tear down here. We have a lot of sand. Yeah, when you walk along like that, you sort of... I don't know if you see what's going on there, but you hit the hitbox and then place it back, so you actually place all of them. Um, so this one here, though, we need to manually do. If that's the definition of manual. And that one, I think, doesn't have anything above it. Nice. And we've got another noise in my ear here. It's noises all over the place. It is... Uh, Zlot Nello. Or ne Nello? Oh, I don't know. I don't even know how to say the Nello. <laughs> saying X maybe a prank on someone else if you could if or, wait let's read that again let's read that again X maybe a prank on someone else also could you notify your subs of an incoming extreme UHCs by emails have already missed a couple um, I've already done that I've already done that uh, if you didn't get it I mean I don't want to spam see this is the other problem like I guess I could do it again but if Twitch didn't already send it out then I'm just going to spam people which is something I don't want to do um, so I'll think about it. I might send it out again, but I also I also don't want to tell you on stream what to do. Um, so I'll have to think about it and figure that one out. I'll probably send out another email though um, on the day, so you'll probably get one tomorrow reminding everyone and other bits. But we'll take care of them in a moment. We're actually going to hop up top to take down some more of this. Oh dear. Okay, um, so we'll pop down. Yeah, that's a good portion of it. So now we've got like these other bits, but we'll take care of them in a moment. We're actually going to hop up top to take down some more of this. Oh dear. Okay, um, so we'll pop down. And do it from here. And we've got noise. Bam, right in my ear. It is... Uh, oh my god... It's Tommy P. <laughs> oh my god, it's Tommy P. Thank you for uh, subscribing. I hope you enjoyed today's stream. I probably messed up your name, actually. I don't know if I got it right, but hopefully I did. And have a, let's see, a sand and steak shuffle. Imagine if that was a sand and steak sandwich. That would be horrible, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would be absolutely horrible. Anyway, thank you for subscribing. I hope you enjoyed today's stream. Let's pop up here and just do this going the whole way across. This is all in the time lapse, by the way. I've got the other camera account on. It's going to look good. Oh, now these guys are trying to zap me. I'm not too happy about it. No zapping, that should be the rule. Oh yeah, I'm also going to open up a shop with Iskal for these blocks. And, uh, man, there are a lot of them. <laughs> They're going to make some money. They're going to make some money indeed. Per capita is per person, says Seth. Okay. I thought it might have been something to do with, like, fiscal, like the average fiscal fiscal? I don't even know what I'm saying now the average like money a person makes or something but yeah, that, that that's surely a good good way of looking at it though, like per person because then, you know, even though there might be a country that consumes uh, less but has more people no, not just person bar for the food and it's on my offhand and it messes me up uh, per capita is per 1000 people actually says Ian Ballacy there you go per 1000 people not just person anyway <laughs> anyway just reading chat there some people are talking about decapitation that's a bit morbid that's a bit morbid Uh, do you and Ren the dog fake sales so you look rich? Uh, Mr. Cal Calligraphy, I'll let you know. There are no fake sales. That is cheeky. That would be a cheeky thing to do. I didn't need to go... I didn't need to, like, come all the way up here, did I? Oh, well, we'll pop back down then. Uh, no, we do not fake sales. 
Like, if you think about it, you know, it is really convenient to go grab some wood for, like, for some diamonds, right? I mean, I go and buy grass all the time from wells. I've got a silk touch shovel. There's grass all over the place, but it's so convenient just to go uh, and just pop to the shop and buy it. You know what I mean? So, yeah, they're all genuine sales, my friends. Us log fellas, we don't do any dodgy business. Now I put all of those... No, okay, that was a bit of lag. Looked like I put them in the wrong place. Do you know where Malta is? Uh, I oh, I should know. I I was I was one of those kids that like when when I looked at a map I wanted to know where every country was. So there's quite a lot of countries that I'm aware of where they are. Malta is probably one of them, but as time goes on, you forget things. You get forgetful when you're old. All right, I'm not really that old, <laughs> but you do get forgetful as you get older. Or probably more so like you need your memory refreshing. That that's that's the deal. I need a refresh. Where is Malta? Bam! Take all of those. You need a hug. Get out of it. Get out of it. Actually, this guy's going to get kapowed. That's right, you're on fire. <laughs> and we got yet another donation from Rocky Avalon, who's going ham today. <laughs> saying, just bring in my stream donations up to a round 55 USD so it doesn't IRK me. I don't know what IRK is. Irritate? Um, anyway, no going off on tangents this stream. Is that on purpose or just due to lack of inspiration? Uh, I love the word, the use of the word tangent. I just, today, today to be fair, I don't feel quite as talkative as usual. Um, I don't know, like, you just feel different every day, don't you? Every, not every day is exactly the same. You always got a little bit of a different feel going on. Sometimes I got a lot of energy. I think today I just feel a little bit like slowed down because I've had an easy day. Um, but I could go off on a tangent if you could inspire me. How about that? Although, that's what you said, lack of inspiration. Yeah, it's probably like lack of inspiration. Plus, I don't want every stream to about be me going off on a tangent. Because I know, I know some people don't like it. And I don't want to like... like See, when I'm doing this, no one is going, Oh, for the love of God, go off on a tangent already. Do you know what I mean? Like, no one's asking for that. If I start doing my little talk about music or politics or whatever... Like, that that goes into territory that divides people, so I don't always really want to do that. Because I, I want people to have a good time here, and it does it does exclude people a little bit. At the same time, you know, uh, I am going to sometimes just talk about it, because I've got passion for that stuff, so... It happens. Everyone's saying tea! Tea! I'll drink some tea then. We'll finish the tea, and then I'll have some water. I want an emerald says, man, he sounds tired. My voice is tired. I'm not. I could run right now. I could go for a... Actually, that sounds lovely. <laughs> I cannot wait till the summer when I'm going to go running at like 10 o'clock at night. That is the best. When the day has been hot and you've got the last of your energy to get through and like the night is cooling, that is the best time to run, I swear. Cheesecake says, are you interested in the flakes? Nope, I uh, don't like anything to do with the flakes. Especially running. What is all that about? Perfect timing, really. Um... Just running. Running's just something I'm into. Okay, so my time lapse is sort of now done. I'm wondering, should I record some more? I think I'll I think I'll do a third segment where we do this bit because, yeah, that makes a lot of sense to me to do that right now. So I'm gonna change the uh, other camera account. Right. So some of you I saw there on chat. I can't see chat right now, but some of you were uh, bringing up some possible talking points. Maybe we'll find something we can talk about. Maybe something we haven't talked about before. Right, I'm going to put my camera account right there. That is perfection, I think. And we'll take that out. Excellent. Right, we are ready to continue time lapsing. And Matt Wins says, X, reply to Good Times with Scar. Hi. False might be streaming. I imagine she's probably streaming. Or, or soon to stream. Soon to stream. Ugh. Okay, there's the first four. Right, let's go spam ham. Ah! <laughs> Just like plummeting and getting attacked. Spam ham seem to work really well here. And we've got some holes in the wall. And now I have no idea. Right, what way, if I were to guess... Oh, that's a little bit of a helper. I think it's this way. This is the way out, right? Yes. Aha, we can see all of this in the time lapse, by the way. So I'm going to do it with uh, these bits first. X, the other camera account. Yes, I've got a camera account. Oh, you can see it on the tab screen, yeah? 
Raid false, says that Smurf. We'll see. We'll see what's going on at the end of the stream, you know. I raid false a lot, so um, if someone else is streaming who's someone I want to stream for, uh, stream? Someone I want to raid for whatever reason, we might do that. But I know that false is live on Hermitcraft, so if we raid someone and all you want to watch is Hermitcraft, then false is probably streaming on Hermitcraft. That's usually how it goes down. False has only died three times as well. That is crazy. That is some... Oh! Stop being a newbie. <laughs> And As Asloff and Crack says, "Yay, an English person! Are you just you give me the impression that you're just tuning in? You're like, finally, finally, I found a Brit. Oh, maybe you are, maybe you're not. If you are though, if you're new here, hit that follow button. To anyone who's watching who hasn't, who hasn't smashed their fist into the screen and hit that follow button, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm joking, but feel free to follow me. I stream regularly. I do uh, live streams mainly here on Hermitcraft lately, um, every other day. So when I do it on Sunday, it will be." in the morning. Now, what is that David Reels posted? It looks like face palm. It's a false face palm, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, Zlotnello with another donation saying, have you ever procrastinated so that you end up constructing a model of a great dehectrahedron or great cub cubico cohetrahedron out of paper? <laughs> I don't know how to say those words. Oh my god, I fell down again because I suck. Um, no, I have not done that through procrastinating. Procrastinating for me isn't productive. That sounds sort of productive to me. Like if you made a uh, a dectrahedron or whatever it's called, that, that sounds like a good thing to do with your time. <laughs> like an interesting shape. Put your brain to the test, make something. For me, it's like looking at Reddit would be procrastinating. Ugh. Words! I can't say them. I had a feeling you'd do that. Alright, and with the sake of this time lapse, we're just going to get all this bit sorted out straight away. So all of that can go. Pop down and pick all these up. Oh, I like this song. This one's a bit kind of racy, isn't it? Space Race! It's the Space Race song. The sponges suck, says Jan Sliegers. I like them. They're really helpful. It means I don't have to fill in the whole thing with, uh, yeah, I don't have to fill in like the entire thing with sand, basically. Hey X, I subbed to you on YouTube for a while ago and I think you're a super groovy dude, says Sock Monkey Terrorist. Interesting name. Thank you for the, the kind message. A super groovy dude, eh? That's cool, I like that. Alright, what one's next? What one's next? I'm going to go with this one over here. I reckon that's optimal position for the time lapse. Bam! Spin and spam, spin and spam. It's backfired today though. Oh, it's probably backfired terribly actually, because wouldn't all the water like keep reforming like higher up? I don't know. I don't know anymore. These guys need a hug. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, it's coming from over here, is it? Oh, hi. <laughs> okay, there's a whole other area there that needs sorting out. And I don't know the way back out. Is it this side? It is. Wild guess. And we got it right. Now we've got sand in my face. Does anyone else sometimes think English is not X's first language? Um, I can understand if you thought that. Believe me, it is. But I derp with it. Ow! Don't kill me! Now, if one of them zap me, <laughs> I'm a bit vulnerable. There we go. We, we seem to be sorted. Okay, I want to read a message because it caught my attention from uh, Michael here. And I'm going to read it out though. Alright, Michael, I just want to say, you know, cheer up, put your chin up, don't worry about it. Like, believe me, that, that's, not a, that's not a bad day. Like, count your blessings. You, you got options. You almost went and brought something you wanted, like... A bad day can be a lot worse, you know. Put it in perspective. There's some people that don't have those luxuries out there. And uh, I hope I hope you feel better, you know. That obviously sucks that that happened, but... Got to put it in, into perspective. Like I said, count your blessings. Anyway, I'm going to scroll down now because that caught my attention. Uh, did we get another noise? Oh, we're getting so many noises. It's like the noises are going to go off and uh, it's just going to be normal. It's going to be routine for me soon. Um... <laughs> Let's eat as we go up. Infamous the Alex here with a donation saying, Hey X, was wondering how old are you? I've seen on your channel since around 2011 it said that you were 26 
And it's 2016 now, so I was verifying. You do the math. <laughs> you do the math. That's all I'm saying, right? I don't tell people my age. Apparently I did once, so now you can do some mathematics and uh, use your brain smarts and figure out all the stuff and things. Uh, look at the loot obtained by the little guardian farm. Yeah, let's do that soon, actually. I don't think clearing this out would do too much for us just yet. I think once we start AFK and all of these suckers have been cleaned out, we'll really see a difference next time. But man, this is like one stream to do one thing. I mean, I've got other things on my list. I, I thought this would take like 50 minutes tops. So you're getting an idea of how long it takes to do a guardian farm, because you're doing it with me here on these streams, I guess. Yeah, so... So, let's have a look at chat again. Wow! Chalky face, you cannot do maths. <laughs> you need to, uh, you need to, you need to do that one again. That's wrong. <laughs> Making me feel old. Man, need to clear that bit up the top. All right, there we go. And this is the bit that connected to the other. Oh, now it goes to the outside. Bam! Now it doesn't. Anyway, this bit here should be the correct bit. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna now clear out. Yeah, I'm going to clear out these bits again, so it will get sort of connected up. Uh, Cameron says, tomorrow's my birthday. Happy birthday in advance, Cameron. I hope you have a great time on your birthday. <laughs> I, can't, I can't read your name because it's in green, but someone says, X is 89 years old. I think my voice would sound different if I were 89. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, where are we going next? I'm looking at the other screen. We're going over here. We are going over here. How? When do you plan to have this finished? X, please read this. It'll make me happy too. Well, there you go. You've been made happy. Amazing. Amazing. Um, this will be finished whenever it's finished. I'm not putting any form of pressure on doing this. This is all just do it step by step, have fun kind of deal, right? And I like it. I like it. It's like a project to chip away at. That's always fun. Always be making little bits of progress. See it come together over time. I like that kind of stuff. Anyway, I was talking earlier about having a like a base. I've, I've like I've really started to formulate a good vision and a plan for this area, but I'm having trouble like figuring all the ins and outs. But I'm fairly confident we'll we'll get there and we'll come up with something amazing. And I hope no sponges fell in there. That'd be unfortunate. All right, now we've got guardians flapping around all over the place. When we're done with this, we'll go check that chest, like someone requested. <laughs> someone in chat says, What the hell? Minecraft has two hands now. Yeah, it always had two hands, but now we can hold things in them. <laughs> all right, let's go put down some more sponges. Hey, X, remember Hypno's last season guardian? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I've got to swim outside to get out of here. Oh no. Oh man, things, whatever it is out there, please don't kill me. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. One of them's heading out here. Oh, let's, yeah, let's head back up this way. There we go. Alright. Oh, <laughs> I wish they'd add a new feature, which would dry sponges out quickly. No, I think I think the current method's fair. I reckon maybe putting them next to fire might have been a cool way of doing it, because then you could like place them on the ground and then pick them. I don't know. That would probably get annoying too, actually. So anyway, we had a new mob like revealed today, didn't we? Jeb revealed the polar bear. Um, if you guys don't know about that and you're subscribed to me on YouTube, know that my second channel is where I post things like that. So I posted a little two-minute video about the new mob, the screenshot of it, and just discussed it a little bit. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Get out of here. That's the way. Um, yeah, so, you know, a reason for you to check it out. I'm doing that now. I'm doing, like, little short videos on my second channel. I really like it, actually, because whenever stuff like that happens, I'm like, man, I want to talk about this, but, you know, like, it doesn't suit the main channel to do that. Oh my god, I'm getting... Oh my god, the amount of rays! The amount of rays! Too many rays! Sneaky <laughs> Sneaky says, X, why don't you want to share private info? I mean, doesn't that question answer itself? Because it's private. <laughs> Ah, oh, to me, to, like uh, we, we've done this before. I'm just I haven't grown up in the generation of uh, Facebook, Instagram. You know, put your life on the internet. It's just it doesn't make sense to me to do that. 
because to me it's like, well, absolutely anyone could be looking at this stuff, and I don't like that. So, you know, being being a person of interest on on Minecraft, I have very little interest in connecting the two together. All right? Hopefully that explains it for you. It probably didn't. <laughs> I've tried to explain it before. People always ask. Uh, X, too many ways. That's what Achievement Hunter said. Achievement Hunter. Is that like a, a channel or Achievement Hunter? That's just, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I sort of do, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I saw a floaty sponge up there on its lonesome. Let's take it down. Also you. Oh, there's lots of them. Okay. Is there also an area? There's a... No. Wait, what? If I look at the other screen, it'll all make sense. Right. There's this bit and that's it. We're almost done. At last. Oh. <laughs> Aha. That makes sense. And then that one goes. Right, so we can actually sort of mash all of this away of our pick. We still need to get those sponges, but all of this can go. Oh, watch out. Someone in chat asking if I have a second language. I don't. I uh, couldn't learn another language at school. I have learning difficulties. It was bad enough trying to get English right. <laughs> Let alone throwing another language in there. So uh, I did a little bit of German and dropped out. Oh my god, the streamer is reading person in chat's comment. Oh my god, David Lib, that is absolutely true. What a crazy thing to happen. X, why do you play Minecraft? Because I find it fun. And it's, it's, it's fun. I don't know. Why do I play Minecraft? It's a good game. Who knows? Right, bit by bit. All of this, this music is very, very calm and soothing. Okay, bam. There they go. All of them. So now pick up the blocks. Hug the Guardian, get the sponges, and we're done. We'll move on to something else. However, <laughs> uh, the other job that I have in mind would also be time-lapse worthy. So, we're doing a double time-lapse stream. That's what it is today. It's double time-lapse stream. Let's get some double time-lapse stream hype in the chat. Spam. Right now, I want to see it. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Hi, you guys have been exploring this place. Ow, and now you're kicking me up the bum. Okay. Getting a little bit carried away here. All of that, all of that, all of that. And... Ow! You go in there. You go in there. Right, let's go get the last of them and eat. Eat, eat, eat on our way over there. Man, they're kicking my butt. Look at all that hype in chat. <laughs> Double time stream, stream, time lapse, stream hype, hype. Blah, I can't read. <laughs> Thank you for the spam. That's not something you hear too often, is it? No, it is not. Right, I'm going to stop the recording on the other screen. It's done for. Oh, I should have actually finished. Oh, okay. Let's start again. <laughs> should have finished getting these. This would have been a part of it. Maybe it won't be. Who knows? Does it even matter? Alright, pop onto that side. Get these bits. It's the last sponge now. Okay, that one. <gasps> Thought we wouldn't make it. And that one. Right, so our rates are going to be superior now. They're going to be superior for sure. That is got to make a reasonable difference at this point. And we're not going to do any more because, man, that took a long time. Right, so nothing can go in the chest. And what do I need? What do I need for the next job we're doing? I've probably sort of got all that I need. I have all I need, yeah. Right, so uh, you guys wanted a items check. Top chest, about the same as it was before. Bottom one, about the same. Maybe a little bit more. Also a squid. Also some ink sacks. Alright. Uh, oh! I have been thrown off my bearings. I have been watching you for eight years. You have great content in the future for everyone. Who is wondering, he still plays Minecraft and more games, thanks. <laughs> Panda there, using the old time machine from the past to the future. Watching videos in the year 9000. Okay, right, so let's bring over the second account, which I need to plug in my uh, mouse again for. Let's, let's do that. Plug it in. Ugh, ugh, ugh. <laughs> Drop the cable. 
One go in. There we go. There we go. Right, if I could sit on this chair instead of trying to sit on the armrest. I need a cushion on this thing. Okay, right, now I'm at the new area. And I'll tell you what we're going to do in a moment. i just got to find the right angle. And the right angle is that angle. And that is perfect. Okay. I've got to press F1. I don't think I pressed F1 for the other time lapse. That always annoys me. Right. Oh, I was recording. We're recording again now. Okay, so mouse comes out. We're good. Bear with me, peeps. I know you're watching an inventory screen. Ugh, let's grab a cushion. And let's drink some water and get ready to do this. X, you need to restock the expo shop. Uh, Nit Dot, that was on my plans, but my plans, you know, are running out of time. We we'll may be able to do that. We'll see if we can squeeze it in. Ah, there we go. Alright, so, can you guess what we're doing next? Oh. <laughs> Well, it starts off with that. It starts off with me discovering this storage room. Uh, my plan is to just flatten this thing out because it's the spawn chunks. We don't want um, any mobs spawning here, so the grass needs to go. But then I was thinking, well, if you look at what's here, it's ugly. There's not much. We'll probably build like a little platform at some point or like a greeting area. And so all of this can get flattened and go. And I didn't bring any chests over here. So are these like... Oh, uh, okay, no exclusive previews, no exclusive previews. We're going to use some of Tango's chests, so I'm going to be cheeky. I've also got to think about what I'm digging, because this side is where the camera is, so we've got to do this bit first. And those, don't worry, that's not doing anything, those are just, yep, yeah, they're, they're just, you know, doors being doors, don't worry about it. Don't get panic. Also, this sand will help at the Guardian Temple. <laughs> so yeah, we are just taking this down. And when Tango next logs on and comes to this area, I want him to be like, Where are the islands? There's just going to be nothing here. We're literally going to flood it. It's going to be great. It's also going to be a little bit slow when we get to the stone bits like this. I mean, sandstone's alright, but we ain't got no instant mine here. Uh, Tango already showed it in his video, someone said. Yep, yep. He showed this, I know. I, I had a feeling he might have started building it, but no. He's, he's doing that soon, I know. This weekend, I think, is his plans to build it. And knowing this game, and knowing people like Tangu who take on massive, ambitious products... Products? Projects. I reckon it's not going to get done. I really don't. Man, I think it took him quite a while last time. It's a massive build. And something always goes wrong. And... Uh, Someone said potato acid says griefing X griefing max level. I'm not griefing. Like I mean the spawn chunks have got nothing going on here. I'm just leveling it to the ground uh, in in preparation for the future and for building a passive mob farm. Which is one of the things I want to do, which is why we're here doing this. Just chipping away at all the little things, right? Chipping away one bit at a time. Uh, we're also gonna use Tango's chests. Sorry, Tango! <laughs> We're borrowing your storage. I'm sure you won't mind. I'll probably come over here and drop off some chests and sort it out later anyway. Knowing me. Alright. <laughs> uh, Ofer says, What did I miss? I left a minute ago and X was at his base and now he's here. What did I miss? You missed me going from my base to over here, Ofer. That's what you missed. But you knew that already, didn't you? So why are you even asking? I'm joking. Um, yeah, we're coming over. We did that. We did that other task at the other place. Now we're moving on to this one over here. We are simply just going to tear out the spawn chunks, flatten it because there's not a lot of it and it's ugly. Um, and yeah, I, I'm going to build a passive mob farm soon, so we're just going to settle this out. See you later, Scar. Uh, he's not in chat. <laughs> I was just saying to Scar in game. Oh. Bertie J says, I was looking for uh, in an empty hermit craft world and I couldn't pinpoint every empty base. Oh, do you mean like a, in like a, the seed, like a, a world we haven't played in, but the same seed? I'm not sure. I mean, I guess that will happen if so. Oh, 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 oh. There it is. Bam. See you later. A lot of you are saying eat. Let's look up to the sky and eat. <laughs> Hobo Ho says, Spruce Willis, I laugh so hard. Look at that little juggle. Oh, it did it like odd timing there. Maybe it does that like when it finishes eating. You get an odd timing shuffle. 
Who knows? Science of Shuffle. Could do a myth busting on it, couldn't I? Oh, that is a lot. Of, that is soothing. <laughs> Mining sandstone is great. And just looking at the time lapse, uh, we've not done a lot. Like, we've done like. Uh, actually, maybe no. No, we've probably done like a, like 20%. 10%, 20%, something like that. So we've got a way to go. Assuming this could be important by flattening it, the world spawn points in the air. Uh, if it does, we'll just fix it. <laughs> It'll be alright. Oh, bam, we got a noise in here. It's Nick Nasty TV, resubscribing for 10 months in a row. Thank you so much for the epic support. Have a shovel. No, it's not a shovel, it's an act. No, it is a shovel. Have a shovel steak shuffle. <laughs> and uh, enjoy the stream, of course. Two months and a year. It's going to be epic. Thank you so much, though, for the support, the continued support. Really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the stream. My voice is really tired, can you tell? I'm telling it to talk, man, it is, it is done. <laughs> Right, so we've got the easy stuff out of the way. That being said, I do want to go lower, like, but we'll, we'll do all of this first. Let's mine all of this, then we can dig through that uh, dirt, the dirt, stone and stuff. There we go. X, are you liking the 1.10 version? I like what I've seen so far, I think. I, don't, I, hope, I hope they're not going to release it with the things they've already showed us. Like, you know, 1.10, Spruce Villages, New Block in the, lo in the Never. You know, Enderman in the Never, and the Polar Bears. And that's it. And I'm going to be like, what? <laughs> Where's the rest of it? Yeah, it, it definitely needs a bit more. But, you know, what I've seen so far looks good. I really like the Polar Bear mob. I, I can't help but feel it's going to be a nice one in the game. I hope they don't call it Polar Bear, though. Because what I like is, you know, we have Creepers. We have uh, Wither Skeletons. You know, we've got things that are a bit more abstract. How do I say that? Strange Shulker, for example, you know? I hope they give it a name that isn't, you know, horses. <laughs> give it give it a bit of charm. As I said that though, like a lot of stuff is actually named like that, like cows and pigs, but I guess, you know, and rabbits <laughs> and sheep. It's actually, yeah, I don't know what my complaint there is, because now that I think about it, a lot of the original mobs, squid, they are just, you know, real life things. Yeah, I guess we we think of the Enderman and the Creeper maybe as a little bit more classic. Right, anyway, that's going to be flattened out here, isn't it? There's quite a lot to go, damn it. <laughs> Big White Bear says Bombing Power. That could be a name. Ta Tandra Bear, I like that one. Uh, Sumo, I'd love to see a QA and a as a 500,000 subscribe special. I mean, people say that, but like, every stream is a QA. and <laughs> a And, uh... And yeah, I'll probably do one at some point. I don't know if I'll do it for 500,000. I, I don't think I'm doing a special for 500,000. Also, May School! Hey buddy, resubscribing for 13 months in a row. Thank you so much for the epic support. And uh, thanks for helping out my buddy earlier today as well. If you're watching. I assume he's watching now because he's here. Like, May School's always logged in. But I think he's now tuned in, if that makes sense. Let's, let's pay attention to chat. <laughs> Let's pay attention. I'm going to have uh, some water as well. Rage Panda says, Asuma's a bit more of a smart ass on the stream, isn't he? I probably am. I probably come off as a bit of a smart ass, But that's because I'm, I'm just being a bit jokey and having fun all the time. X your audios behind the video. Not much I can do about that, really. That is a bit of an odd one. May School says, I'm here, Winky Face. There you go. He has arrived. The May School is here. Uh, X, would you like the idea to make polar bears tameable? If yes, how? Interesting question. I don't think... Actually, no. I think, yeah, I think tameable could be cool. Now, every time they do something like tameable, there's always a flaw, which is that you can heavily exploit it. But I think whatever system you try and uh, implore, someone's going to find a way to exploit it. So, it's a good question. I bet, I, you know, maybe on, on the, off the top of my head I can't think of something, but I reckon there could be some clever... Clever ways to make an interesting taming system if you put your mind to it. So yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing that. X, you have 65 level enchants. That's true. That is true. I've got 65 of them. And I was going to spend them. I was going to spend them on the expo shop and restocking it. Which is something we might do before the stream is over. We're probably going to have time to, to be fair. So we'll see. In before Polar Bear Farm says, uh, got Nate. Yeah, you see... 
there was a time when they added new stuff and people didn't rush to make farms and then someone would come out with something and everyone would be like, whoa. And then now now it's more like, you know, the snapshot's been out for five minutes and ten people have uploaded a farm. We're like, we know the game inside out and, you know, nothing's without expectation. Maybe if they added, added something like, what if someone came up with a shulker farm and it's like, you know, probably Panda or someone's like found some obscure piece of code that they can exploit, you know. Like they go they go into the end and they stand at a specific location and they shuffle like some shovel and like and it causes like a memory leak and then the memory leak causes like shulkers to appear. <laughs> that would be the only way we could have a shulker farm with with some sort of weird glitch that someone found. I love I love like Panda's uh, Ender Dragon farm because he released like a little video where he sort of hyped. It was, I think it was April Fool's one year, he released like Ender Dragon Farm, you know, stupid amounts of experience, get to a thousand levels, things like that. And he deliberately put it on April Fool's. And and then what do you know, like, a week later or so he comes out with the tutorial and shows you how to do it. Like, make the Ender Dragon into a farm. Brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. I love that. That's cool. Put the suggestions on what to put in your offhand in your offhand, says Whips Mobile. So I can have a little suggestions book. And every time someone asks, I write it in the in the book, and then and they go, "Oh, why aren't you holding food in your book?" And I'll open, I'll sorry, in your offhand, I'll open the book and be like, "There you go, food. It's in the offhand." Okay, so we've done that. Now we've got to do these other ugly bits. And believe me, they are ugly. Up you go. I'm gonna do this side now. Man, this needed taken care of. <laughs> but then the spawn chunks are now just gonna be ocean. I wonder, do you know what, I'm not going to tell anyone that I've done this, because I think it would be quite funny to see like Tango's reaction in a video. Like, he just logs in and it's like, uh, <laughs> we, we were in the spawn chunks, now, my, now there's just some floating stuff here. What happened to the spawn chunks? Oh. <laughs> Good times. Did you build a blaze farm on 420 just to be cheeky? Uh, Hamish Fatcat, I built it on 419 to annoy all the people that wanted me to build it on 420. I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. Don't do it. <laughs> In fact, I noticed that because it's season 4 and people are getting close to the 20 episodes that there's probably going to be loads of those comments. Say something cool about C minus 16 divided by 64 divided by 128 Amiga. Old dudes dig it. <laughs> I don't know what that is or what to say about it. Sorry, can't help you. Full symmetry said hello. She did. Oh, Doc's there. Oh yeah, of course, it's Doc and Efo time. Friday evening, Doc and Efo time, recording some vids for the YouTubes. Oh, I need to hop over there, I think. Now ah, we'll just do it here. X, do you think polar bears will be farmable in a fully automatic way? I guess with the info we know, just take the same thing as a peaceful mob farm. If the spawn chunks are in the biome where they spawn in, but I guess it depends on uh, if they are even going to be worth farming. You could just do the traditional cow farm style, depends on the hitboxes. Well, it depends on a multiple um, bunch of factors. Like, yeah, one one would be, do you even want to farm it? Um, I think it's going to be farmable because it, I don't think it would make sense to make them like a shulker, like make them unique, like you go there and it spawns one, because that always ends up with people missing out on finding them or something going wrong. Uh, I guess the shulkers are in a lot more of a difficult area and the type of mob that they are, uh, they're tough to kill. There's nothing in the environment that's going to kill them either. Whereas I imagine the bear might wander into a fire or something, you know? So for that reason, I think it's fair to say they're probably going to be like a passive mob and respawn. So they should be farmable. There you go, we're already theorising how to farm the, uh, the, the polar bears. They're not even out yet and there's already people lining up to make farms. How cruel are we, eh? The technical community. <laughs> poor little, poor little polar bear. I can picture like a a sad-faced polar bear just sitting there, like all these redstoners like lurking off in the corner, like waiting for 1.10. You know, like a little fan fiction picture. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Someone can draw that. Go for it. Draw it. Tweet it to me. All right. Uh, this is this is going really fast as we're chatting here. I'm not. I saw looking around like, isn't there another bit I need to get rid of? Nope. You've you've gotten rid of all of that. 
Polar bears will be neutral, says Joba. That's uh, not true, actually. They're going to be a mix. Um, they'll be aggressive if their cub is nearby. Now, Jeb said, like, just nearby. I don't think it's even threatened. It's like, if if you go near their cubs or their cubs are near them, they're going to be aggressive, whereas if they're on their own, they'll just be neutral. A YouTuber promoting fan fiction. Yeah, sort of. Like, what's... That's not particularly crazy or bizarre, is it? You know, YouTubers are people that have ideas and a voice to share those ideas. Right, my inventory's not actually full up. I was going to say, it's got to be full up by now, but no. X, build a courthouse. A courthouse is one of the things we're going to uh, talk about on Monday. On Mondays we have like a little hangout thing. We're going to work on the white area and plan it out and stuff. And the courthouse will probably be part of that. Why do you have no chat on your screen if i watching full screen I can't read the chat? Oh, interesting. I, I just... Uh, never really wanted to have it on there. Some people say nasty messages from time to time and stuff like that, you know, so I think it's better just uh, for me to read it. Uh, False is stalking you, someone said. If she is, then she's not got many places to hide. <laughs> so I don't think she is for some reason. But she's on the server. Uh, this time lapse looks alright. Apart from the rain, the rain is making this time lapse look not so great. What about a one diamond shop? What is that? Like sell one diamond at a time? I was thinking about doing that actually, setting like a reverse shop where it's like, there's diamonds here, go fetch me things. <laughs> that could be like an errands shop. That could be pretty cool, I reckon. Well, that'd actually be a pretty cool like marketplace just to have like people put diamonds in a chest and like a, a little note saying free with the skulls or find me a wolf. I don't know. You know, a little errand that they want someone to do. Dig this hole. <laughs> Just dig a hole anywhere. Anyway, we'll do. We've got a noise in my ear. It is a resubscribe gravy tunnel. Resubscribing for two months in a row. Thank you so much for the epic support. Have a steak shovel shuffle in the rain while I spin around. While I spin around. Boop. <laughs> Yep, thank you for the support, buddy. I hope you have a great time on today's stream. Fetch is my favourite word, says Alan Animal. Fetch. Interesting word. Okay, what are we doing now um, as I wander around? It's a bit dark, isn't it? I think even though these are about to disappear, I should have done this a while ago. It'd be easier for you guys. Uh, Pixel, Pixel Scorpion says, False isn't stalking you. There we go, false update. She's not stalking us. <laughs> I was about to say she's not in the never. Some of you know what I'm talking about. She's not in the Never. Or she might actually be in the Never. I don't know. We need a false update. Where is false? Is she in the Never? Hello, villager. Tango was saying about this guy just like going off into the distance. And I was thinking about how sometimes players are invisible in boats. Wouldn't it be great if like if like you, you've camped out and uh, I guess you wouldn't know when he's recording, but you camped out, you're invisible, and oh, you could take an invisibility potion. And get in the boat with a. Oh my god! That would be so great! That would be so great if, like, Tango like logged on right now and I had an invisibility potion. I could just jump in there and freak him out. I'd have to take my armor off, but that'd be amazing. Like, the villager just looks like. Oh, I've got to get some of that at some point. We've got to, at some point, find a mob in a boat near another player and just make it look like the, the mob is going for a, <laughs> a drive. That would be great. I want to do that. It will never happen. I'll never get that lucky. Right. All of this is good. Let's take care of this. Oh, thank goodness for Depth Strider. This would be a real pain without it. And this didn't take too long. We've actually got time to go do the other jobs on the list. X, your description of a polar bear is a neutral mob. Except with different aggro trigger. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a good point, actually. Yeah. Yeah, now that you mention it. Yeah, because a neutral. Yeah, because... Yeah. You know, I was literally thinking earlier in my head, like, what is the opposite of neutral? Like, a mob that likes you? Of course, no, it's passive. A neutral is that it's not aggressive, but it's sort of passive, but can become hostile. Yeah, so, yeah, you're right, actually. It's a different trigger. Terminology, eh? Sort of on the same wavelength, but not. Right, I'm just trying to get that sandstone out of there, because it's just easy to mine. X, do you have Frostwalker? I don't. I don't have Frostwalker. I mean, I got it somewhere. I got it on books. I got it on some boots, but I'm not wearing it right now. Right, now Tango's definitely going to be confused when he comes back on here. 
if he logged out here, he might just drop into water and be like, what? If I also laid down some grass here, I imagine that... Um... Oh, how long has my inventory been full for? Quite a while, <laughs> probably. Probably too long. Okay, that's that chest. Ugh, I can't jump. Oh, there is stuff to collect everywhere, and I don't want to waste it. <laughs> Give me all the things. Is there any from back over here? No. Okay, it may have just filled up like recently then. Also, I wouldn't mind some more ink sacks while that guy was here. Bam! Yeah, so we were we were talking about something. I've completely lost my train of thought, which is brilliant. Just what I wanted. Oh well. Someone says horse trap in the distance. Oh yeah, yeah, it gets set off when you go up to it. Yeah, there'll be loads of those in the spawn chunks. Absolutely loads of them. And we got a donation here from MCFX saying, "Oh, we've got another one before it as well that I missed. I apologise for missing. Uh, let's 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 get this done, right? We are almost done. Let's get this done, and that is it. <laughs> we need a uh, we need some ladders, man. I got some ladders on me. Talk about some luck, right? These ladders. Is that have I lined that up correctly? No, but we got the ladders, so." That is all you need. Sweet! Right, so we've got a noisy mayor here from MC Brown 1010 saying stuck for cash, so can't sub at the moment. Hey man, if you don't have a lot of cash, don't don't do a donation, you know, feel free to take that back, you know. If if you're donating and it's like the last of your money, that's there's no need for a donation. Don't worry about it, buddy, you know. They're not needed to to do this. They they help, they make a difference, but they're not needed, so. So yeah, uh, either way, appreciate appreciate the gesture. It's up to you what you want to do with that. Let's. Uh, I'm just thinking about what to take. I wouldn't mind a bit more stone in my chest, you see. So we'll go drop these off. Timmy says, "Is it possible to make a horse trap farm?" Absolutely, yeah. In the spawn chunks, you could totally do that. You could, in fact, make a massive funnel system if you wanted to, because then the horse would end up going down the water streams into. That's an interesting idea. I'm putting that on my notes. It's an interesting idea. Uh, trap horse farm. Right, now I will take that and do something with it. Also got a donation here from MCFX saying, Build a new nether portal, put it closer to town to troll Tango. He will think his chest and villager are gone. A little bit mean. I mean, yeah, I, I thought you were saying that you'd build the... Uh, build the whole thing in the wrong place. I'm not going to troll him when he gets on here. Like, you know, troll someone who's got time, but I know when Tango comes on here, he's like going to be rushing to get it done, so I don't think I'll do that. X, your picture ability is low. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Mayschool says, watch Asuma write down. That's an interesting idea. No, that's not what I wrote down. Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Isca. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, nice one. I've actually got like three or four of these books earlier. Sweet, thank you, Iskal. That is amazing. Uh, let's see. Right, so let's start with stone. And that's not stone. Up you go. Then we've got our sands, so we've got some... Hey, you can go in there. Oh, the other stuff's sandstone. Right, I need one of these for grass. I haven't sorted out grass yet. I guess grass and dirt don't have a chest, do they? They'd actually probably go in this one, which I sort of half finished clearing out, actually. So, I'm going to do that right now, I think, just so I remember. Uh, grass gets to go in this chest. Okay, then... Right, this will all be automated one day, I hope. <laughs> and we've got another noise in here, we'll get to that soon. Uh, the rest of this, I think, qualifies for the junk chests. because These are all my junk chests over here, because I'm pretty sure I don't have room for those to be sorted out yet. So yeah, I'm in the process of um, creating like the filter systems. So, we've got two noises in here, we got... A resubscribe for two months in a row from Decrepit Doors. Decrepit Doors, thank you for your resubscribing. <laughs> really do appreciate it. And Astrid Lou has subscribed as well. Thank you for subscribing. I hope you enjoy the stream. The both of you can have a little shuffle. And we're going to crack on with it. Cheers. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Do I need anything? Yes. Yes, I need something. In fact, 
we're going to be limited by these two anvils because I have no iron. I have no iron. I'll tell you what, someone should set up an iron shop because I would buy iron for diamonds right now. Totally would. Totally would. I doubt anyone online is watching. I think Fools is streaming. <laughs> I could ask in chat. I'm not going to do that. But we may need some more iron. Uh, so Meat says, hey X, just joined. What's going on? What have I missed? You have missed us recording two time lapses. Speaking of which, second computer. I have a break. Turn off the monitor. That time lapse is finished. I need to start transferring that information across. X, turn camera account off, says Whips Mobile. I'm going to leave it there. I've turned off the monitor because... When I'm done streaming, I'm going to uh, AFK Fish Farm for a bit. Is there a false update, says uh, May School? I'll ask. We've got a noise in my ear! Right, okay. Was any of this... No, this wouldn't have been active a moment ago. Okay, uh, we are going all the way up to the top, I believe. Maybe. She says maybe. Uh, we've got Sphinx here with a donation saying MVT... No, sorry, PVT. Oh, it's a private message that I couldn't read. Um, okay, I'm going to read this. Okay, I will I will do that. And uh, thank you for the the kind message at the end there. Yeah, yeah, I I mean, I can read that bit. Uh, yeah, my, my channel is intentionally kid-friendly to some degree. I mean, not, not like intentionally, but like... I don't like to swear. I also, I don't believe in censorship, by the way. Like, if I accidentally swear, um, or it just happens, like, I probably wouldn't put that in a video. On a live stream, then it happens. But I don't, I don't like to swear. I don't aim to swear. And, uh, and if I'm recording with someone else, I don't, I don't censor them, really. Although, of course, if it makes sense to, you know, if someone's effing and jeffing, I'm, I'm like, oh, this, this isn't working out. Do you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. I feel like, feel like letting you know that. That's that's how I do it. It's not like a strict thing. It's just I don't choose to, and I also don't believe in censorship. But it's it's like, but I'm self-censoring. <laughs> I don't know. I've lost track of what I'm saying. Uh, wow, that is a really great book, isn't it? That is a cracking book for a sword. Yeah. So I just realised what I'm looking at. I don't actually need any of these things. I forgot what I was doing. Isn't it surprising that I got distracted and got forgot what I was doing? I mean, that's nothing I ever do, is it? Someone says False is dancing. Apparently False is stuck in the never. What's going on? <laughs> Still stuck in the never. Okay. Uh, we're here to restock the expo shop, so that might be a good bow. Uh, that probably won't. I don't like to put the uh, punch runs on. I don't like having punch on a bow. Other people do. I'll let them put that on them themselves if they want that. That might be useful. Power fours are going to be useful. And I'm breaking. Mending is the one we might struggle to find here. But we'll see. Flame. Let's hit that flame one. So this is what I do when I restock the expo. The expo shop. There might be some other cool stuff. Oh wow, this thing is stocked up. To the top! Oh my god. Oh wow, is it actually did it actually fill up the entire way? That's crazy. <laughs> Ninja Joe says, false is the bacon. Blaze rods. Oh, do you know what? I, I, I know we've taken a couple of things out. I don't think it actually filled up all the way. Uh, but here's the thing. I need to get some mine because I was going to do some more farming here. I think I'm at the point now where I might just go saddle, eh, chuck it away. Do you know what I mean? Bowl, eh. I mean, I've held on to like every item that has come out of these things. And now I'm starting to see that that is not the, the best way to go. Um, so we'll start from the top down then. Power I mean, we're getting a lot of power fours. We need to start picking out uh, the more valuable ones, I think. Flame, I guess. I'm breaking. We've got a few of. Infinity. That's that's something we need. Another infinity. And we need a mending one. So this is... Whoa! Whoa! That's half the work done for you, except it's got punch on it. Yeah, we're looking to make... Uh, there you go, mending. We're looking to make some bows to restock the shop. So we need some specific stuff. So a lot of you are letting me know that she's in a ravine and she's mining. Okay, thank you. False update. She's in a ravine. She's mining. I understand. <laughs> the whole thing about her being stuck in the never is like an old joke from uh, a UHC we did. Where she got stuck in the never. Oh my god, that's a good one. And another, look, they're all in this chest. All the good ones are in here. 
Another mending. What is going on? They're all in one place. Uh, we need some infinities now, don't we? We need some infinities. The infinite is what we need. We need infinite knowledge. Flame infinity. I like that, Bo. Flame mending. That one's doing all the work for us as well. Mending. We'll take it. Oh, I reckon we're going to make a lot. I reckon we're going to make a lot here. Right, flame and punch we don't want. And one down there with punch. Okay, so I reckon I reckon we're good. I reckon we're good to make some bows. Let's go put them in a chest or something. By the way, we've got 2,000 people here watching. Thank you everyone for coming along and uh, checking out the stream today. If you have enjoyed it, if you're having a good time, hit that follow button if you haven't done so already. Yeah, I stream every other day here on Twitch. Right, let's put these down. Oh my god, I thought I had two. I do. I have two. That one can go there. Okay, so we're going to group these up. And we're going to try and do it efficiently. Uh, we don't need all the space in the world. It would be nice if this were already like organised a bit better. There you go. Alright, so. Uh, where was that crazy epic bow? So, power 4, flame mending. Now, that needs... Who can tell me if I'm forgetting something here? Infinity and power 4. So, if we can find... I'm sure we had an infinity something. Infinity power 4. So, those two together make a expo. So, Infinity we didn't see a lot of, actually, so we should probably pick out an Infinity. Right, Flame and Infinity, and Power 4 on Breaking Free, plus a Power 4. Do they both have Power 4? They do. So, Power 4 by itself. That should be... Yeah, that's another one. So, that those two make one, those three make one. So, that's two more so far. Are you going to be adding a theme park, says Peppermint Base? Uh, there is a theme park area that's sort of been designated, but I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with it particularly. Okay, so flame, powerful flame, mending and power. Right, we'll, we'll always start off with a mending probably, right? So let's try and aim to make four. Oh no, maybe five? Five different bows of our combination here. By the way, I can hear that little noise for the follows going off in my ear. Thank you everyone for following. Hope you're enjoying the stream. So if we put those three together... Then we need infinity. Ah, infinity is fresh. Is the threshold again. We have not got... Well, that's infinity. So, what does that give us? I'm breaking. That doesn't really go well into that combination. That gives us some breaking and infinity. So, we need flame and power four. So, there you go. Flame, power five, I'm breaking infinity. I think I'm not missing anything there. But that's probably it. Okay, so again, uh, infinity is the threshold. Alright, so, what I'm going to do is leave those like that. Um, we'll remember that the ones... Actually, no, let's keep them separate. We'll just have to remember those three are the ones. Um, and all of these I'll put in a different chest for future reference. And we'll actually start off, though, by doing a couple of these. That's a lot of bows, says uh, Bear... Bear Dead Dragonus. Yeah, it is. Um, but this is like a cracking way to get yourself a good bow on the cheap. Right, so 15 is the way. We're not going to rename it. There you go. One more expo. Same as that one right there, pretty much. Right, now the next one's going to use three. And I think what we want to do is combine the power fours together first. 11. 11. Uh, 22. 16. Pick the cheapest. There goes our anvil. Okay, so we got those two for the shop. I'll put them in my ender chest for now, for safekeeping. Oh yeah, speaking of which, that's... Aha, that one needs more... More uh, cooking, doesn't it? Okay, and... Uh, I think we might have 23 levels. We'll probably... We'll get very lucky if these three go down for that kind of price, right? But maybe... Maybe there's a way to do this cheap. Like six. That's got to be a good start. 18. 20. Okay, 18 level. One short. Oh my god. What were the odds? What were the odds of being one short? So we'll put that in the top corner. So we know that they're going to help us make bows. Infinity is our threshold. So uh, all of that gets to go in there. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff, right? Let's have a little eat. Uh... The tune says, wow, I didn't know the price change. The price? Do you mean the things you get from fishing? They have changed. There's more infinity bows in the chest, says Rubley. Probably. I need to just, you know, pay a bit more attention. But we've sort of done all we can now for that with my XP. So uh, I'll come back to that later. Alright, so 
Bones, I mean we've got farms for that. We're never going to run out of bones. Water bottles are actually, a, I feel like they're sort of valuable in a way, but they're probably more hassle than they're worth at this point. Uh, the fishing rods, to be fair, I think the fishing rods are just junk because once you've got one, you don't need another one, right? It's kind of the same for the bows, but there's other people on the server. Um, and the saddles, I've got so many of them that I really don't think, you know, I'll, I'll definitely stock up a few more chests. But, do you know what, I might actually just go grab some more chests. So before I chuck them away, I might put them in the chests and say, uh, if anyone else, you know, wants some, they're there, they're free. Do you know what I mean? Why are you keeping the leather boots? Exactly, CCYCX. I mean, I don't need to keep them, we should chuck them, I think. How is XP calculated to Party Pig 45? There is an article on the Wikipedia, on the Minecraft wiki that you can read, even. Uh, Scarlet Storm says I just came back. Are there horses in the sea? There are. Yep. It's a shame saddles don't stack. G stab. Yeah, they could really do a stacking. Then you could just, you know, walk around with a stack and chuck them on anything. Sell the saddles to Cub. Uh, Golden Weaver. I already gave him a load. I think he fishes as well, so you'll know. I mean, uh, somewhere down here we got loads, right? Yeah, we got all of that. <laughs> uh, there you go. Saddles. Is there also like wood in there? No, there wasn't. Saddles, saddles, bows everywhere. <laughs> X, why didn't you want punch on your bows? Rocky, because I like to have knockback on the sword when they get close to you. And uh, I don't like having it on the bow. I don't know, it's just like a, a situational thing. It feels like having a bit of both is good, whereas having all knockback, you know, you don't always want knockback. I say that, you know, most of the time it's useful. Maybe there's occasions it might not be. Let's uh, let's just take birch because we've got tons of this stuff. I also want to leave some in my inventory, so we'll just take a stack of wood and do that for now. That's going to make us 32 chests for storing things. Oh, do you know what? I think I've got a load in here as well. Or maybe I took them out. Yeah, I think I had like a half a stack of chests and I've used them all. Uh, we also need to find a little bit of iron. Well, actually, no, we probably don't now, but I'm thinking those hoppers... We need more hoppers, right? T to queue up more chests. Bed, bed, is it bed? The dragon says this is my first live stream. Awesome, welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming by. Uh, hi, X, your profession on Hermitcraft is Boya and Lumberjack. And maybe mobster and entrepreneur, depending on who you ask. Yeah, I like it. I like the perspective. Uh, I've adapted your story system. It's fantastic. Awesome, Fuzzy Zilla. I'm glad you made use of it. It's technically not mine. The storage system was made by someone and sent to me. And then I made use of it. You had 30 chests in the top chest. Oh, there you go. X left. You got eagle eyes. I didn't see them. Yeah, I knew there were some in there. Okay, right. What we will do is uh, put some chests here. And those can be for a few extra bits and bobs or whatever we choose to take out. So, you know what? Fishing rods, junk. Uh, junk, junk. It's basically junk. <laughs> uh, the tripwire hooks I'll hold on to for mob farms. Lily pads, because they're hard to farm, I think you should hold on to. So junk, junk, water bottles again. I think we're just going to call this all junk now. Um, and we'll do it like this. Saddles are going. I'm sad to say the saddles are pretty much junk. <laughs> oh, it feels so wrong to throw them away. We'll keep the bows, though. We'll keep those. We'll keep the books. We'll take the books out. We're going to build a storage system for those. And the leather. I actually like that you get leather. That's a nice one. Put the saddle and chest on a donkey. Fill the chest with saddles. Name the donkey free saddles and let it wander through the shopping district. I love that idea. That's a great one. That's probably not what I'm going to do, but I like the idea. Okay, so uh, again, we know what to chuck. And by the way, all those items have come through the hoppers now, so we shouldn't have things filtering in. Uh, we're going to take the books. Chuck them down. The ink sacks, I want those. Yep, we'll have that and trip by hooks. We'll take some of these things out, actually, like name tags. And, and this way we'll have a look at everything that we've got as well. Um, saddle's going to go. Sticks can go. <laughs> and fishing rods are all going to go. Are, they, are we actually dumping our rubbish in the ocean? That's disgusting. Like, you know, don't poop where you live. <laughs> we all need water from the ocean. Um, let's chuck these things down there. Right, I'm going to take the name tag. I'll take the lily pads as well. We'll leave we'll leave the fish in there. Cool. Right, so that one's definitely cleared of junk. So is that one. It's junk clearing of X time, isn't it? 
X, can you make an item filter for saddles? Uh, you can even, is what you say. Yeah, yeah, you can. I still don't quite understand how those work, the ones that I've seen, but I know you can make them for like minecarts because you can use them functionally on a on a rail and then like dismount them. That's a little thing that I came up with. Uh, let's chuck those and those and that and them and, and some of those and put that in our inventory and that and yeah and then oh all of these as well. Look at them everywhere, fishing rods. <laughs> Some of them even got mending on. I bet some of you are watching like, oh my god, don't throw away that mending fishing rod. You got so many of them, you don't even care. That's that's the deal. But I don't mind the lever. I'll take the books. At some point I'm going to chuck away something I shouldn't. I know it's going to happen. Right, off you go. And, is that it? And then, and then the books. Lots of books. Was that the last chest? Because that's neatly filled up our entire inventory. It's not. It is not the last chest. Uh, but those things will do just fine. Man, we are raking it in from this farm. X, why didn't you ever shift click? It's much easier than dragging your mouse. Uh, well, because these are all got different enchantments. You can't. Well, I was shift clicking. I was shift clicking things in. Someone said you tossed away leather. It's going to happen. It's going to happen, buddy. Oh yeah, they're, they're for the expo shop, which we've got to go restock. Um, so these things can go there. Bone mill, chuck it away. <laughs> and then these we're going to put in like these chests for now. Man, so many books. There'll be the occasional mending one in there as well. Uh, have you got any tips for me for YouTube? And do you know what I should do on Minecraft Pocket Edition as you're a great idea person? What do you think... Elytra rings will come to Minecraft Pocket Edition. Wolfboy Gaming, um, if you're going to make YouTube stuff, just priority number one, have fun. Have fun making videos. Don't care about numbers. Just make videos and have fun with it. Like, that's what that's how people got started out doing this, you know. Um, as for Pocket Edition, no idea at all, actually. No idea. Right, so we're going to take that. Saddles go. Uh, yep, off you go. Bowls can go, that can go, and that. So we're left with books, and now we're going to take all the fish down there as well. Might be a bit much for uh, one one go. We'll leave the bows up here though. All right then. Man, clownfish is so so rare. Yet yeah, even now we're starting to pick it up in a large quantity. Ah. Oh. Okay, books in here. I need another chest down here as well now, don't I? I'm going to have a, like, a second set for all the fish. I, I can't dare throw away the fish. I don't know why. I have to keep it all, even though it's like too much food. It also feels like it's getting to that point in the game where like, if it's if it's not um, the best food, like then you might as well throw it away. But it's still food, so I don't want to throw it away. Cub needs name tags, says Jace and Susie. Yeah, I'll be happy to help him out. I, I think he knows I've got lots of name tags. For love of all holy, tame those skeleton horses in the water. Um, Lenovius, Lenovius um, you don't need to tame them. They won't despawn. If you play on a server, they actually become a nuisance because your spawn chunks, if you've got ocean there, or well, even if you don't have ocean, actually, the ocean's actually completely irrelevant. Um, in the spawn chunks, when you play on a server, it's always loaded. And therefore you'll find over time that your spawn chunks will just become populated by tons and tons of these skeletons that roam around because they spawn and then they don't despawn. So they're just there and they accumulate. And so if you you know, you go on an active server and go to the spawn chunks, you might find a lot of them. I think it might actually have something to do with ocean because we don't seem to have a lot on ours and ours is mainly ocean. But definitely on my patron server there are a lot, a lot of them in the spawn chunks. Uh, False needs name tags too for our dogs. Everyone needs name tags, man. Like, but loads of people have been fishing. I'm sure, I'm sure people are aware they're easy to get. Uh, Mr. Dan Jack says it would be cool if clownfish were used to breed the new polar bears. Finally, giving them a use. I would, I would disagree, right? Because, like, look how much we get from hours of using a special farm. If you didn't have access to a farm, which is a a, a Yeb. Oh yeah, well, we didn't even use these. It's a Yeb principle. Yeb. It's a Jeb principle <laughs> to uh, to make things like 
not f sorry to make the game not revolve around farming is, is his approach even though he's literally done things that make farming better or add to farming like they're so rare that you would have to spend so much time to get them it would just be crazy a lot of you are saying start a name tag shop I mean there's no point because like who's gonna buy them they're, they're just they're just ridiculously easy to get this scales crane looks like a giraffe X, says Crazy Tax One. I guess it does a bit. All right, so now we've got to go stock up the expo with two, two bows, uh, and maybe actually we'll take yeah we'll take a trip to the XP farm, and combine those two together and we'll make it free. How does that sound? Right, so free for the shop. Right, off to the XP farm. How does that sound? I'm waiting for the Game Mode 4 public server to update to 1.9, and I assume there will be a reset as well. Yoda Rock's probably quite likely. I imagine updating all of those command blocks will come with lots of development and, and stuff. Uh, Nord Online says, Gasp, definitely thought you were going to die, but I forgot you had Feather Falling. Well, there you go, I got Feather Falling, haven't I? So, it's alright. 2% chance to get by fishing, 2.5 times 2% Guardian Farming. Uh, make it rain, that, that is not how rare a clownfish is, it's far rarer. Um, it is it is ridiculous because you have a small percent chance to get treasure and then out of all the treasure you've got an even smaller one to get clownfish. No, sorry, not treasure, is it? What is this? What is this big, like another big just box here? I don't know what this is. <laughs> Some sort of shop or something. And, uh, I don't know. Uh, let's go over here. <laughs> Getting distracted by the box. Uh, when does Tango, when ta when Tango does the Iron Titan, how about making together, like, three or four Hermits? Oh, he's already got it planned out. I, I wouldn't put myself forward for the Iron Titan. I'd rather, I haven't built one. I haven't ever built one, actually. That's interesting, because now that I've said that, I want to build one. <laughs> um... Now, I'd be happy to continue mining for iron, although now that I've got none, it's a bit trivial. X, use a skeleton horse next to a hopper timer to keep the chunks loaded as the horses don't despawn. Uh, don't, not quite sure what you're saying there. Why is there cactus here? <laughs> to throw your items onto, I, I'm going to guess. Uh, we've got to stand here in the middle. I don't know why I hit it with a pick. <laughs> I don't know why. I've got no explanation. Uh, we want all of these on manual, which they are. Cool. We've actually just got to stand here for a minute, haven't we? X, make the chest in the expo shop with punch two bow. With every purchase, you get a free punch bow if they want it. Uh, I mm, I could do that, I guess. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. X, why don't you stream every day? Jay Wilson, because I've got other things to do. <laughs> you know, I do run a, a YouTube channel, so that takes a lot of time. Hi. Bam. You're dead. No, you're not. <laughs> you survived! You cheeky spider. Right. Man, that's going to get annoying quick, isn't it? Let's uh, let's have a read of chat and a drink of some water while we turn down our sound for a moment. Bam. Down to 3%. Ever thought about trying beams, says Dark Knight. I can't, because I have a contract with Twitch to stream on here. And only on here. Uh, Jose, is it Joss the I says, Hey X, I'm the guy with the Shulker tweet. I gave you more advice in another tweet. I read all your tweets. Um, I did a lot of testing and experiment. It's quite funny because... Let me let me drink this. You tweeted me that and I was like, yes! What a great way to get shulkers. And then I then I started to like make or plan the video on it. And then I started thinking, alright, okay, so yeah, you can get them in boats. How do we do that? Can they break the boats? How are we going to get them back? You know. And then all of a sudden it just like, it took so much time. It like, it spun out of control. It was like this big thing of figuring everything out. And uh, a lot of people showed me ways to send boats upwards after, but I tried a fair few of them. And with shulkers in the boats, the boats behave really weird with pistons, and there doesn't appear to be a way to sort of move them up. Some of you saying armor off, please. Oh, because of uh, mending. Uh, it'd actually be better to keep it on because of mending if we're collecting XP. But I'll do a video on that explaining how mending works soon. Uh, Nanobeat says hello. I can't sub, but I can follow. Sorry, no problem at all, buddy. Thank you for following. Appreciate it. Thank you for all of you for following. All of you who have. If you haven't, well, you know what to do now. I'm joking. I love watching you and all of the other hermits. You're all such an inspiration for my big builds that are so forebo foreboding. Foreboding. I like that word. 
X, if you got a death sentence, what would your final words be? Oh my god. Why do you want to know? Uh, I probably wouldn't care to give any final words. I mean, maybe maybe if I were like, I don't know, for some reason my final words are going to be broadcasted to the world, then I'd like, I'd think of, try and think of something like meaningful and heavy to say to everyone. Um, yeah. <laughs> My last words. <laughs> of all the questions, I've not heard that one before. What are your last words? <laughs> right, yeah, we're done here now. We got the levels. I just want to finish killing them. Okay, so... Oh, we can do a little bit of, like, axe repairing while we're getting this XP. Oh, it's all gone. Never mind. Repair the axe. Repair the axe. Nah, it's not even worth doing, is it? Alright, there we go. We turned it off. Ah, that's different. Oh. Oh, they're the wrong ones. <laughs> Make sure we get the right ones. Don't want to combine those together. That would have been disastrous. 18 levels. There you go. And I think I know what this is for. This is for junk. Cheers. Right. Off to the expo shop. When will you update your plot world server to 1.9? Peace Warrior? No idea. Whenever it's ready to be updated, I imagine. X's last words. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, it might be bye bye. X, why don't you use Beam like Impulse and Tango do? I answered that question a message ago. I've got a contract with Twitch. I can't stream on other platforms. X, why are you repairing your meat? Apparently, I was repairing my meat. I guess it probably bobbed up and down in my hand, right? Uh, what are we eating? I don't want to eat that. I'll eat some fine quality meats. Now, didn't I turn up my sound? Well, we have now. Um. Stand still. Stand still. And she won't notice us. It's not working. It's not working, people! It's not working! <laughs> as soon as she goes past, I am going to turn. And then she might. Right, right. So now I turn and look at her, right? If she turns around. No, she's not going to turn around. <laughs> We're gonna shoot her. Oh no, there's a Pikmin in the way! Where's she off to? <laughs> maybe she'll see it, maybe she won't. Uh, off to the brown district. <laughs> Billman says, bacon! Oh. Kermit says, follow. Thank you for following, Kermit. Appreciate it. Oh! Oh, is there a new crime scene? Or is this just a cordoned off area? Iskow shop coming. Yes, Iskow finally working on the shop. Excellent. That is good. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Cool. Man, this area looks great, doesn't it? It looks great. Alright, so. X, you are the first with most followers. Oh, what? Watching. Wow. That's cool. Um, right, so now that we're down here, we're going to fill up the expo shop. And we've only got two, but, you know, people know the price. Oh, we've got to collect some diamonds as well. Bam. So, free expos in the shop. And, uh, and yeah, some diamonds. Some diamonds indeed. <laughs> no, they're already gone. <laughs> oh, the mending books are already gone. What is this gal going to sell, says PXL Source. Uh, I'll tell you what, he's going to be selling some prismarine blocks. Me and him are going to be pairing up for that. Uh, X, your shop's roof is too big. It's kind of funky. It is, isn't it? It actually looks a little bit funky. It needs work, right? I, I do want to get back to it at some point. Um, it it needs it needs work. I think I think it's reasonable and it's a central looking building, but it just needs something done with the roof. I'm not sure what. I might consult some of the others on that. When will you work on your shops as MC MC Fex? Uh, I'm not sure really. I need to just like pull the finger out and start working on it. Do you know what I mean? But I keep getting distracted with other things. Also, my base at the moment, I feel like it's been left a little bit half done. I mean, it's going to get bigger over time. I've got bigger plans for it. Oh, yeah, the bridge. The bridge is lovely. Oh, wait, is that a massive spoiler? <laughs> no, wait, that's tomorrow's video. I just, oh, man. Like, I was talking. Oh, I'm doing all the spoilers. <laughs> I'm doing all the spoilers. It's so funny because uh, the other stream, I like intentionally avoided spoilers. And then I knew I'd do the same thing today, so we spent the entire stream away from this area, 
And then I come back and I just go bam and spoil everything I've done. Whatever. Sneak preview. Exclusive preview even. There you go. You've seen things that I've done in the next video. It's still going to be a good video. It's still going to be fun. Fox says exclusive preview of tomorrow's video. Exactly. Exclusive preview. Look on the bright side. Teasers. And all of that. Uh, anyway, peeps, it's been a fantastic stream. We've done all the things I wanted to do. It's been great. Thank you to everyone who donated and uh, followed. Appreciate the support as always. And thank you to all of you who um, have subscribed. No, I got those the wrong way around, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, to all of you who've been watching, hanging out in chat, appreciate it. We are going to do a raid on someone, probably false, so don't go anywhere. Please, please join in with the raid. It's going to be fun. <laughs> and... Uh, Oh, wow, I'm dragging the wrong screen. Yeah, false is... Oh, my God, I can't click on anything. False is live. We're going to raid false. How does that sound? That is what we're going to do. Thanks, peeps, for watching. Join in the raid. Have fun. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.